Howdy hey. Howdy hey, howdy hey, howdy hey. Am I alive? I think I'm alive. Let me go, uh... Wait. Yes. Howdy hey everyone. It's so great to see you here. Oh wait, there's nobody here yet. <laughs> oh wait, no, they're here. We did it. Howdy hey. I hope all of you are doing well. Wow, there's actually a lot of people here. Howdy, hey. My goodness. I was not expecting this. Howdy, hey, howdy, hey. So as you can see from the title, I really hope this keyboard is good. Now, this stream is sponsored by iQnix. Uh, they have not told me what to say about the keyboard. Because we're streaming, obviously they haven't reviewed the video. Um, so we're just going to be, we're going to be giving it our best shot. We're going to be building a keyboard. Now, a lot of you know iQnix as the budget keyboard brand, but there's this, uh, there's this thing called iQnix Super and it's not budget. It's not budget. Now it's more, it's more affordable than some stuff. But um, I, I'm very curious. I'm very curious. A little bit of backstory. About a year and a half ago, when I call it like the budget keyboard drought, when everybody was making more premium keyboards, like nobody was caring really about like the, is it affordable? Because everybody had pandemic money to throw around. iQnix was like my go-to because they made boards that were like good enough. So I kind of, I, I don't want to say fell out of favor, but they just like, there became better options for a little bit. So now they've returned with iQnix Super and the Zone, Zone X 75. And it looks really pretty. Like they got me with the looks. Initially I was going to be like, eh, I don't, really, I don't really want to do a stream on that, you guys. And then I saw it, and I was like, okay, actually, hold on. I think I might do a stream on that, you guys. Mm. I just took a sip of my tea and got, like, tea bag straight to the mouth. Don't take that out of context. Please, don't take that out of context. A lot of you are wondering, probably, like, why I haven't been streaming for a while. Um, I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. So I was like, I'm back on YouTube, but I'm going to take a break. So now I'm just going to stream like when I need to stream and when I want to stream. And I'm not going to be setting a schedule for streaming. So if you really enjoy the Hippio streams, all I can say is make sure you're subscribed. Because they're going to happen when they happen. And that's about it. They're going to happen when they happen. Guys, please stop taking that out of context. I swear I can't. I can't do this. It's it's a Monday. We, we can't start off Monday like this. So, I'm going to be building the iQnix Super. We're going to see how good it is. And that's basically going to be today's stream. So, let me just go ahead and quickly tell people that I'm streaming. Streaming. Building an iQnix Super Zone X 75 prototype all right let me hit every with the at everyone in the discord shout out to my discord this is where you can get notifications for when i'm live so you can type exclamation point discord join my discord and let me do stream ping as well because it's been a minute all right and bada bing bada boom okay There we go. So yeah, shout out to the Discord. If you want to know what keyboard I'm building today, you can type exclamation point build. Provided earlier today, Hippio got that set up. Provided earlier today, Hippio got that set up. Exclamation build might work. Will it work? Um, it should work. God, I hope it works. Please work. 
Uh, hey! Thank you earlier today, Hippio. That is so cool of you to actually do your job. That's so great of you to not forget like you almost always do. Okay. So, I turned on slow mode, by the way, just to make things a little bit easier. So, if you want to chat, you can subscribe. Um, if you have questions, I'm mostly going to be responding to super chats today. Uh, super chats, you can hit the little button. Even if you super chat two bucks, I can respond to it. It's just a little bit harder to read chat. I'm a little bit scatterbrained. I'm going to be honest with you guys. So, if you have an important question... That's probably the way to do it. Okay. Now. We gotta get the desk set up. Ooh. Here's the real question. Am I gonna be making this into a video or not? Or is it just gonna be the stream? Hmm. Hmm. Stream or video? Guys, stop looking at my feet. That's cringe. Make a video? I might. All right, how about this? How about this? I might. I'm going to record it as if it was a video, but I'm only making it a video if it's interesting. All right? Now, if you're watching this, it means this keyboard was really good. Wait. That means if you aren't watching this, then you don't exist. Okay, that could be that could be the intro. I don't know. That's if the keyboard sucks, I'm not making it into a video. That's kind of how it works. But uh, when a little bit of a background, if you purchase a sponsored stream for Hippiotech and your keyboard sucks, you don't get a video usually. But if you purchase a, a sponsored stream for Hippiotech and your keyboard is pretty good. I might make it into a video. Maybe I'm lazy. Maybe I, I'm saying thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the $2. I don't know. I don't know what I am. I I feel like I'm so just like all over the place lately that like 90% of what dictates what I do is what sparks the most joy, which I feel like is good. Is that bad? Am I crazy for doing what sparks the most joy? Probably not. This keyboard be thocky and creamy. It'll be maybe thocky, maybe creamy. Why is there just like a constant stream of heart emojis? What does this do? What am I looking at? Does YouTube have heart emojis now? Is that a thing? Do you guys see heart emojis in the chat? Bruh. Reigns. Howdy, hey. Just want to say you got me into keyboard building, and now my wife left, and even my cat looks at me with disgust every time I change something on my board. That being said, I kind of want to change my phantom yellow for reds. Do you think my cat would forgive me? Personally, I, I prefer lighter switches, so send it. I mean, if your wife already left, what do you have to lose? Your cat can't leave. Actually, it can run away. I had a cat that ran away, and it was really, really depressing. That was like the saddest week of my life. Um, but yeah, swap them. Swap them. That'll be good. That'll be really good. Yeah, you'll like it. Okay. Um, let me real quick swap to this camera. Whoa, shoddy is Fenny? No way. You've returned? Return of the Fenny? Did your old YouTube account get banned, Fenny? Did you say something that was against YouTube TOS? Uh, so. Oh, wait, hold on. I don't have a memory card. Hold your horses. If you have a horse, I swear to God, you better hold on to it right now. All right? If you have any horses, I swear to God, I better not see them anywhere but in your arms. 
You hold on to those horses. You promised me. Oh, anyways. So. Let me turn my audio on. Turn my, my editor. editor. All right. All right. Uh, wow, wow, my super, super chat, chat super, super delayed. delayed. I, I read, read that like five, five minutes, minutes ago. So, so in this, in this box, box admin, admin, howdy, howdy hey, welcome, welcome to the Watering Hill Gang. It's so great to have you here. You're, You're echoing, echoing on. on. What? what? Hold, on. Hold on. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Is it better now? Have you forgiven me? Fixed? Alright, I apologize for that. That was really awkward, guys. I haven't streamed on YouTube and it's been a minute. Awkward. Um, well, at least you got, like, eight welcomes. Your desk mat is adorable? Thank you. You can check it out at exclamation point desk mat. So. In this box is a keyboard that I think could change everything. That's too, that's too extreme. Ooh. Ooh, this is nice, actually. This is a very nice box. It's got, like, a magnetic closure bit. I'm excited to see what's in here. Ooh. Anytime you got magnets... <laughs> magnets are sick. Okay. Now, full disclosure. This video is sponsored by iQnix, who... Or, well... Full disclosure, this stream is sponsored by iQnix, but if you're watching this as a video, it isn't. So if I add anything after the fact to the video, the video isn't sponsored, but the stream is. That's a little bit of inception right now if you're watching the stream live. So in the box, we've got one, two, three, four. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, open the door. That's the hit new Cadelli song, by the way. Precautions. There is a layer of plastic seal outside the keyboard case. Please check the overall appearance before unwrapping the plastic seal. Okay, so there is a plastic seal on my keyboard. I, uh, this is too heavy to remove from the case. I'm not quite sure what to do. This keyboard is too creamy. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's interesting. All right. Now, before we talk about the keyboard, I'm setting it on the ground. Goodbye. We first need to check out some of the other stuff in the boxes. Now, the keyboard does seem incredibly interesting, as it's iQnix's more premium offering. At not that premium of a price. Now, the first thing I've noticed is, this is like, oh, wait, yo, an included aviator cable. And it's like, really heavy duty. Why won't my brightness change? There we go. So, what surprised me most is that this aviator cable is like solid metal on the connectors. That is really nice. I think there's a second part to it too. Is this included? Wow. Wow, that is... Wait, that's like... This feels nicer than, like, cable mod stuff. 
This feels re I love this connector on the end. Wait, I'm not... I need to see if this is included. Hold on. Is that included? There's no way they give you that nice of a cable for free with the board, right? There's no... Hold on. I gotta read the product page now. Keyboard case. Okay, so here's what you get with the keyboard. You get a keyboard case, a knob. Oh, a knob. PCB, plate, foam, foam, gaskets, stabs, screws, screwdriver, switch puller. You do... This is included? This is included? Wow. Okay. Well, that's honestly what you would expect for a $235 keyboard. But, uh... Shoot. We'll talk about the price of the keyboard more later. We'll talk about the price later. Don't worry. In box number two... What a... I buckled my shoe. Promote your second channel? Which one? <laughs> I have three. <laughs> I don't have manic creative energy and start a new channel every time I get one slight hobby. What do you mean? <laughs> okay. So. Here is a great touch. I'm... Guys, I'm actually really impressed with the offerings here. So, number one, this is a premium keyboard. So you're spending a premium price. But the accessories actually mirror that. Like, this is quite a nice screwdriver. And this is a very, very hefty weighted keycap and switch puller. Like, these are good touches. If I pay 250 bucks for a GMMK Pro, all I'm getting is a slap on the butt. I'm not even into that sometimes. E1, howdy, hey, thank you for celebrating 30 months with us. Good to see you in the stream again. I'm already impressed. Now, this means nothing if the keyboard isn't good. Like, you can butter me up, you can call me Sally, but if your keyboard sucks, you get nothing. So, we're still anticipating that. Oh, there's another bit over here. Whoa. Oh my god. Guys, I don't think this is gonna be a simple keyboard build. What is going on? What is going on? So, we've got whatever these are. These are like metal bits? Uh, stir sticks, I guess? I don't... What? Are these for the gaskets? Because they're with the gaskets. What? Uh... I'm confused. I'm really confused, actually. Foam gaskets. Leg dad. Howdy. Hey, great to see you here. Any part of a keyboard is a stir stick if you try hard enough. Yeah, so I actually like... <laughs> Speaking of stir sticks, I was eating a popsicle stick the other day. And um, you know how popsicle sticks, like, they've got a little bag that they come in. You, like, pull down the bag, kind of like it's a pee-pee or whatever. And then that, like, keeps it from dripping onto whatever you're eating. So there was a hole in my popsicle stick bag. And it dripped onto my keyboard as I was playing League of Legends. Um, and I got popsicle all over my keyboard. I know exactly what you're talking about. Thank you, Ewan. I'm, uh, some people seem confused. I'm a little bit... I don't know why anybody was confused by that. I feel like that was pretty straightforward. Um, so anyways... I, I got Popsicle all over my keyboard, and it, like, seeped into the keys. And it was an electric capacitive keyboard that I was using, and it's been, uh, it's been interesting to clean. Let's just say that. Anyways. Back to the accessories. I'm sorry to anybody that had to hear that. Um. Oh, so these are the stabilizers. Wait, are these? I don't think... 
I've ever bought a keyboard kit where the stabilizers came assembled but not installed. That's an interesting step to take because these aren't looped. These stabilizers are bone dry. They look to be some type of Duroc variant. It, it's tough to say if they're actually Durox or not. The plastic doesn't quite look like Durox. But they're... It's like... It's a typical clone if it isn't. Um, Whatever this is. I'm in like uncharted territory right now, you guys. This is like some type of... You could put your weed in there, I guess. I don't know. Anyways. So, stabilizers are included with the board. That's a great touch. So we're already checking a lot of boxes that you would hope to be checked when you're spending 200 plus dollars. That might be a space bar dampener. That's a good point. Okay. And in... This has got to be just something they threw in for me, right? Like a novelty... This is an aluminum keycap. Um... Yeah, okay. So this is a $20 aluminum keycap add-on. This is a $20 add-on. It's pretty nice, though. It's quite premium. Okay. There we go. I'm going to drink some tea real fast. Um, please enjoy this very calming tea-drinking montage. Anyways, so I, I'm trying to like piece through all these accessories. We've got like random screws. We've got, oh, is this keyboard wireless? This might be wireless. This looks like one of those little wireless ding-dongs. What tea is it? Green tea with lemon. Hey. <laughs> Howdy, hey. Welcome to the watering hole, gang. It's so great to have you here. We've got a manual. I barely know her. An iQnix sticker. All right, you know what? If this keyboard thocks, I'll put this sticker on my forehead. How about that? Somebody remember that, because I'm going to forget. Somebody's got to remember. Do the work that I can't do. Is this a... Is this one of those pizza tables that they put in your pizza when you order from, like, Papa Murphy's? This kind of looks like a little pizza table. I have genuinely no idea what this is. But... You could definitely put your pizza on there. Or it's like a mini easel. I think it's... It's definitely like a phone stand. Okay, that's pretty sick. It like props up my phone a little bit. That's really nice of them. Hmm. Oh, you remember that... E1 is such an OG that he remembers when I did, like, Bob Ross streams. I did that, by the way. I did Bob Ross streams. Hey! Juan! Howdy, hey! Welcome to the Watering Hole game. So great to have you here. Uh, the rest of these just look like a lot of screws. Um, and that is package number three. Howdy, hey, howdy, hey! Welcome. So, let me open this up. What up? Not much, one. What up with you? Thanks for teaching me how to mod a key, bro. Anytime. That's literally, like, my passion. 
Okay. Now, last but not least, we have a couple things. This thing, I have to throw it away because they told me that the prototype polycarbonate plate doesn't actually work. So, instead of using the prototype polycarbonate plate, I have this that I just pulled off screen like a cooking channel. This is a FR4 plate that I'll be using. Shiny. Now, we can see here that this board is going to probably be a gasket mounted keyboard. There's flex cuts in the plate. Love them or hate them, they exist. And it looks to be a 75% layout. Now, what might be the secret to this board sounding Poggers Champion could be literally all of this foam. Now, it's not the most foam I've ever seen in a keyboard. But, uh, it's definitely foam. There's, like, it's weirdly, like, pieced out. We've got PE foam. We've got in-between plate and PCB foam. So, we'll be testing this out later. Now. Caution. PCB inside. Electrostatic sensitive devices. You guys want to see me lick it? Oh, interesting. So we've got like a little bloop blop back here. Uh, and what? I actually have no idea what's going on with this guy. Because there's one over here. So then he's supposed to go over here, maybe? I can only assume. Maybe. So this is a hot swap PCB. The keyboard is going to come in at 239 US dollars for hot swap or solder. So whether you get the hot swap version or solder version, it's the same price. It's not $30 more or something. Looking at you, my key club. I also see LEDs, which is nice. The keyboard PCB is flex cut. So if you don't like that, then you might not like this as much. But before we get too crazy, let's look at the actual case. So here's the case. It came in plastic that I'm now going to pop. I haven't looked at this case before recording this. So this is live reaction. There is a fruit fly in my keyboard case. I do not know how he just got in there. Where did he go? There he is. Get out of there. Bro. Get out. You guys think I dampened my keyboard with the fruit fly? Gone wrong? Well, my frogs have already eaten like a lot. So they wouldn't eat this one. So he's just gonna have to. Where did he go? Come on. All right, you saw nothing? You saw nothing. Now, this is the keyboard. We've got it in front of us. I'm gonna do some B-roll of it eventually. It doesn't look like they gave me keycaps with it, which is a bit unfortunate. I actually really would have liked to have tried their keycap set that they're launching with it. Um, so this is the iQnix Super 
Zone X75. Now, you've probably heard of iQnix as the keyboard brand that does like budget-ish keyboards. So they're actually doing a little bit more premium keyboards as iQnix Super. So theoretically, this keyboard that I'm looking at here is supposed to be significantly more premium. Is it still in there? Oh yeah, he's vibing. You know what? He gets to live. He gets to live. Whatever. Whatever. So starting at 235 US dollars, that's 235, not 239. I don't know where I got 239 from earlier. Um, starting at 235 US dollars, you can get the hot swap or the wired version of this, or, or the soldered version of this keyboard. It also comes in wireless, but that's going to be 259. And who knows if the wireless is going to be good yet. Now, it comes in two different versions, the sleek version and the texture version. I have the texture version here, which has kind of like a classic etched iconic style to it. Now, this initially make, made me think that the keyboard was plastic, but this is actually metal. This is not plastic. Ooh, the knob is... Oh, the knob. Wait. Wait. It's got, like, travel distance. The knob has travel distance. Whoa. Oh! Now, ignore the fruit fly walking around the keyboard. He's trying his best. <laughs> he's he's really going for it let him go anyways this knob is the most stellar thing i have ever felt in a keyboard it has like a spongy almost like electro capacitive travel distance to it a really satisfying turn and then like a divot in the middle so like british viewers i'm playing with my knob right now please that that's a good knob that's a really good knob anyways i need to get some b-roll of the case at some point that fruit fly is never coming out he's stuck he's stuck though gonna make me excited what's his name i'm gonna name him john i'm gonna name him john yeah also you guys might not know this but i just got rubber ducky isopods yeah you heard me right rubber ducky isopods does anybody care about that I named one of them Frank. Yes, I named one Frank. He was a Frank. I looked at him and he said, Yo, my name's Frank. Do you guys want to see Frank, the rubber ducky isopod? I could show you Frank, the rubber ducky isopod. I could. I think... I built them like a pretty cool enclosure. That would actually be a sneak peek. Not even Hippio Plants fans have seen that yet. <laughs> Can you tell me how the sky looked? Oh boy, I don't know how the sky looked. I've been asking it for years. Can you tell me how the sky looked? Can you tell me? 
My neighbors are probably so confused. They're probably so confused. They're like, why does this guy always wonder how the sky looked? Why is he just singing about it for hours on end? Can somebody please tell him how the sky looked? Please? Could one person on this earth please tell him where the sky looks? Anyone. So if you're wondering what's going on right now, I'm doing a little bit of B-roll for the... If this keyboard is good, I can make a video about it. Now, if this keyboard isn't good, you won't see a video about it. But there's also a chance that um, the video won't come out for months. So <laughs> I am like fully booked. I'm fully booked. Oh, interesting. Wait, the sale started two days ago? Well, you can buy this right now. Interesting. Please review my key cult. There's a shot of the back for you. The back is like... I really like the texture, but I could see some people that might want to get the smooth version instead. Oh, guys! I figured out what's going on with the feet. Check this out. So it fits in like that, and then if you want the bump, you can do that, and that changes the angle. Wait, that's actually, it's, that is so smart. Why has nobody done that before? That is so clean. It's magnetic. Wow. That is really clean. Those aren't for pizza. Check this out. Ready? Boop. That's cool. That's cool. That is cool. Is the sky magnetic? Bro. I wish Spotify didn't hate me. That song is so decent, yet Spotify just, like, didn't put it on any editorial playlists. If you work at Spotify, or if your friends work at Spotify, please DM me. I need help. Shout out any Spotify employees. If, you're, if your mom, if your mom's boyfriend is a Spotify employee, please DM me. If you're mom's if you're if your dad's boyfriend is a spotify employee please dm me please please dm nola if your if your dad is a spotify employee please send some party dms if your mom's dad's boyfriend's cat is a spotify employee epic nola moment Mm, epic Nola moment. She has visited the stream. I have been blessed by her. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's done. There you go. Nola doesn't know anything about Spotify. <laughs> Where's Nola? I miss her. <laughs> that was like the most well-timed donation. Wow. Okay. So I think that covers the board B-roll. Actually, no, that doesn't. I want a side profile shot. 
So, I would say probably my biggest gripe for this board yet. Nola, don't do it. Stop. Where's my anti Nola spray? Where did that go? Nola, where'd my anti Nola spray go? Where'd my anti Nola spray go? Stop! Where did it go? I really need you to not bite my cord. Uh. How do you open a keyboard without screws? Uh, you, you just open it, duh. What do you mean? Just open it. Hey! Oh, I found it. Okay. Alright. Nola keeps biting my, uh... Biting my cords. There we go. What do I do if my mom doesn't want me to spend all my money on custom keyboards? Have you tried getting a mom that works at Spotify? Have you ever tried that? I've heard that's super effective. I would recommend you go to Spotify and you you get a new mom there that works there hi Nola. you want to hop up there you go there's a live action nola trying to bite all my cords pov I want to bite all of your cords because I'm Nola. Bruh. Did you try going to Spotify artists and send it there? I did. I have pitched it a month early. Every song. I have pitched it with verbatim, like interpolations of successful pitches even and nothing oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 kitty cat Nola you want to be scratched oh Nola approves dude oh yes oh yes meow oh yes Meow. Don't show your butt to camera. That's that's censored. No cat butt on camera. No, you can't show off your butt on camera. Censored. There we go. You want more? Oh, sweet child. Mwah. That's a weird looking chihuahua. Yeah, my chihuahua is kind of silly, not going to lie. My chihuahua is kind of weird. Oh. Hey. Sorry, guys, I have to take a break to take care of my cat. I hope you understand. Here, let me turn this into a story element for the video. Um, hold on. Hold on, I got this. Now, at a certain point, my cat Nola has decided that she's trying to stop me from uncovering the thockiest keyboard in the world... So, she's trying to prevent me from building it by demanding scratches with a keycap puller. She's a weird cat. She's not a normal cat. She's not your average cat. She literally loves this more than anything in the world. So, I had to give her scratches. I had to cave. Please, please go comment. Wow, Nola, very good job at preventing Hippio from building a keyboard. Great job, Nola. Keep it up. There you go. Get your butt out of the camera, dude. Thank you. Thank you. What else do you want to get scratched with? Huh? Oh, you're going to bite it? Okay. That works. Oh, please. Go ahead. 
please. Yeah, go for it. Woo, she liked that one. Is it even like, is it getting fur out? Does she shed it all? Yeah. I don't know if you can see it on my hands. It's not focusing that well. But she does shed quite a bit. In fact, I can probably get her to leave me alone. Just by taking this baby wipe. Which, she loves baby wipes. <laughs> and just baby wiping her down a little bit. There you go. There you go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> She's a noodle. She's a noodle. She's a noodle. A grumpy noodle. She's the grumpiest noodle in the world. Mm -hmm. Alright. See ya. I think I'm free. I think we did it. <laughs> I think we did it. Okay. Now, is that a bowl of used tissues? Um, it's mostly trash. There's a couple tissues in there, yeah. Let's see. We've got food scraps, lactate. A little bit of everything. It's where I put my wipes when I wipe down Nola. Don't make it weird. Anyways. Before we build the actual keyboard part, and let me see if there's anything else I need to talk about. Okay. Now, some things to know about this keyboard is that apparently it's gasket mounted and er, coming in at 235 US dollars, this keyboard's going to have to really punch its weight and prove that it's premium because you've got keyboards $135 cheaper, also bare bones, and also in stock, like the Mons Geek M1. Those offer essentially the same thing, except maybe a less premium chassis? Who knows? We're going to have to put that to the test. So, some things I'm going to want to look at here. Does the sound stand up? How's the build quality? And does it offer anything unique over its competition? Okay. Now, first impressions. Why did it? There we go. There we go. My first impressions are that this board feels incredibly premium. Like, with these feet on, it rattles a little bit. But taking off the feet. Hold on. It doesn't sound blacksmith anvil -y. I'm not really worried that it's going to be, like, in need of a force break, but maybe we'll do that anyways. It has a really premium feeling knob. It's got this really nice etching to it. Like, this feels like a premium chassis. The magnetic feet are an amazing touch. Like, super, super cool if you like changing your typing angles. But they are a little bit funky in that when you move them around, they kind of click when you move the board around. One thing that some people might like or might really dislike is that there's screws that are visible on the top case. I mean, it's clearly an aesthetic choice. Can you, can you not bite that, please? It's clearly an aesthetic choice, but... It's a choice nonetheless. Okay. I'm going to just spray that. <clears throat> Bye. Ratio. L. L. Can you please? Please. Please. Personally, I kind of like the visible screw look. Because literally every single keyboard looks the same with the screws on the bottom. 
it's definitely a differentiating factor having visible screws on the top. In fact, that might make it easier to mod. Ah, I just got a tea bag in the mouth again. God. Okay. What kind of spray is that? It is... Bitter Apple. This is like the go-to anti-Nola spray. It only works temporarily, but if I spray it on like a cable that she's trying to bite, she will go the other direction. We used to use it on dogs a lot, and it seems to work pretty well on cats. So Nola is essentially a dog. That's why it works pretty well on her. Anyways, to disassemble the keyboard, uh, well, hmm, we've got a bit here that came with it, and it works in my WoW stick. It should just be a couple screws to take this thing apart, so let's see how easy it is. But I am curious how it's going to look on the inside. Maybe it's going to look really premium. Okay, it's already coming apart. And it's just deciding not to focus. There we go. Okay, wow. That's really easy. That is a really easy disassembly. Four screws and the whole thing is done. This gets number one easiest disassembly award. Number one. That was the best. You ever seen the GMMK Pro? You know how many freaking screws I had to take out for that stupid board? In fact, that's, that's kind of why I hate the GMMK Pro so much. So many freaking screws. It's a disaster. Where's the bug? The bug is gone. I don't know where the bug went. He's gone. Okay. Can you not? Donate a dollar to charity every time chat says NOLA. That would be rough. Oh, what happened to your little legs? Your little legs have like little bruises. What happened? What'd you do? Did you scrape them somewhere? Look at this. Her, look at her little like bare spots on her legs. Don't bite me. Okay. Anyways, since Nola has decided she's going to be in the way again, what am I going to do with you? What am I going to do with you? You want to be scratched with the wow stick too? Oh my god. You're just one track mine. You're just one track mine. She wants one thing, and it's scratch with object. You're going to poke your eye out. Oh, she likes that. I turned it on. No, you literally poked that in your eye. Nola. Meow. <laughs> I'm using the wow stick to scratch her while it's like it's on so it's like screw driving my cat and she's into it and she says yeah I love that give me more of that gang, 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 gang. sorry guys this is just my normal content some some videos, there's literally no Nola footage because Nola has just slept through my whole filming process. Some videos, I've made the unfortunate mistake of deciding to film right when she's in peak give me attention mode. And it's like this, the whole video. The whole video. So building a keyboard that would normally take like two hours will take like four or five or six because I have to stop frequently give her scratches, play with her. You're just ridiculous, dude. You're ridiculous. You need to chill. You need to chill. This is too much. You have an addiction. 
You have an addiction. You have a problem. She's just crawling on me. You can see her go from one camera. Look how long she is. Look at that little... <laughs> Ow. She's going from one camera to the other. Look at this little doofus. Look at this little bing bong. Look at this cringe ah ah bing bong cat. She's just crawling on me for scratches. She says, please, Papa, give a scratch. Give a scratch, Papa. I am desperate for scratch, Papa. To all the cat haters out there, they're probably hating this stream right now. Everyone that enjoys cats and has a soul is, like, probably stoked. Alright. We're done, Nola. We're done. Now, ow, dude, that was so uncool. That was so out of pocket right now. Ow, she might have just made me bleed. Just shut the door, lol. As if that has ever worked with a cat. Ever. Ever. That's never worked. A cat is locked out of an area and they're like, oh yeah, that's okay, mate. I'm good. Alright. So. Once you open the case up, which was very easy, let me just say that again, that was so nice. You reveal what looks to be pockets for the batteries and cables to connect them. Now, because this keyboard has the option of wireless, the two batteries seems a little bit excessive, not gonna lie, is this gonna have like months of battery time? It also seems like most of the case is actually happening in the top housing. This is a little bit worrying to me. This is a little bit worrying to me, as generally the top housing is responsible for the most ping. And having the whole case be top housing could potentially mean a lot of ping. I'm also not seeing a force break mod installed here. That's a fair point, Ewan. Technically, a battery could be a cell of many, 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 many batteries. But it's interesting the way that they broke it up. Now, stay tuned. We'll see whether or not this ends up being good or bad. But I think we're going to have to install the gaskets, which I'm not that excited about. What kind of camera is this? This is a Sony A7 III. Many things are interesting to me, and that is what makes them interesting, is the fact that they are of interest. That is how interest works. Now, I'm going to be honest. I still have virtually no idea what's going on with these little bloop blops. There's these little bloop blops throughout the whole entire case, and they didn't give me a build guide. I've got no build guide. Is it in here? Was it the thing that I pushed? Huh. I don't think so.
Yeah, a lot of factories of mechanical keyboards have been including force break mods from the factory recently. Hmm. The, um, what was the last one that I reviewed? The Akko one included stuff to force break it yourself. The solder on the top left looks, uh, prototypey. But fine. Yeah, so I've actually got... No build guide here. Hmm... I'm trying to see if it shows. Okay, wait, there's a build guide on their channel. There's a build guide on their YouTube channel. We're saved, boys. Let me pull this up. I'm so confused. Bruh. As to what those metal strips are. Oh, we got a donation. CEO Penguin, howdy, hey. Thank you for the two Canadian. Um, Let me just briefly... Skim through this. The coiled cable is included. That's... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, what was it? Gasket aluminum strips. They're called gasket aluminum strips. Eh? Okay. Uh... So you put the gaskets on the plate. But what about the aluminum strips? Yes. What's up, dude? You're back, unfortunately. Why are you back? Sorry, guys. I'm reading. I'm reading, guys. Please forgive me, gamers. I am making reading. No, no, please, 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 please. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. All right, we're going to be talking about the aluminum strips later. That's incredibly interesting. Nola, please. 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 Please stop. I can't take this. I can't take this, Nola. All right, I need to lube and install the stabilizers. So I'm going to lube and install the stabilizers. Uh, CEO Penguin says, I bought a GMMK2. Wondering what's the best keycaps. What's the best keycaps is a rough question because are you defining like sound, profile, color? Like... What do you care about? There isn't necessarily a best. Um, I could be incredibly biased and tell you to type exclamation point hippo to check out the best keycap set, Polycaps Hippo, which is my keycap set. Um, but yeah, best keycap set is... Uh, that one's not really a thing. Nola, please, don't lick the camera. Don't lick the camera. She licked it. She gave you guys a kiss. 20 to $40 color and sound. I. If your budget is that small, you're going to have a rough time um, on picking color and sound. Go with the B keycaps. XDAB milk and honey keycaps. That's about all I got for you at that price point. Okay. Nola, you're going to make me go insane. I'm actually, I'm potentially going to go insane. You're a bit much right now. Nobody cared who I was before Nola jumped on the desk. 
All right, get out of here. Get. Okay. So the stabilizers that come pre-included with the board are bone dry, so I'm gonna have to lube them myself. In order to lube them, I'm just gonna commit magic. And then for you guys watching the stream, you get to watch for 30 minutes. Nola, this isn't something I can just scratch you with. Howdy, hey, didn't know you stream here on YouTube. Yes. Originally, that's all I streamed on. Um, and then at some point, I was streaming on YouTube and Twitch in a multi-stream fashion. Then Twitch became a bit of a bing bong. I did like a little bit of time contracted on Twitch to test it out. Didn't like that very much. And now I'm back to YouTube. That's my life story. Thank you so much for listening to my life story. Nothing else happened in my life except that chain of events. Um, yeah. What happened to the Hippio lube pouch? That still contains a lot of my stuff. Um, I don't keep these lube supplies in my lube pouch because they get so messy and I, I want to keep my lube pouch like relatively clean like I am not a clean luber I barely know her all right so my new method for lubing stabilizers it's pretty simple um I just lubed the housings and the, the stems a little bit. So I lube a housing. I put the top part in. I lube a housing. I put the top part in. Um, I have cat hair all over my hands, though, now, apparently. So I should fix that. I'm also going to need dinner at this rate. I did not expect this to take this long. Bruh. Gamer generation. Howdy, hey. Why no magic today? Um, Unfortunately, magic is fake. You know? Tooth fairy isn't real. Never meet your heroes. What do you miss from the previous state you lived in the most? Only my family. <laughs> I don't miss that much, honestly. I I do not miss much about California. I did not like California very much. Like, there were cool things to visit in California, but there's cool things to visit in Washington. So I don't miss anything about those cool things to visit. I'm a bit of a California hater. California is mid. I think mid is the best way to describe California. It's not technically terrible. But it's not the dream state. It's definitely not the dream state. Have you ever left the US? Yeah, a couple times. Been to Germany, been to Switzerland. Weather is dope, everything else is poop. The weather is not dope in my part of California. If you end up visiting Seattle, let me know. I have actually thought many times about impulse buying tickets to Japan to go film a video there. One of these days, I'm going to do it. 
Like, I'm going to end up doing it at some point. It'll probably happen. Go meet pudes? As if, bro. Man just had a kid. He ain't hanging out with YouTubers. Let alone a small YouTuber. I would really like to go to Japan. I don't think I'd be able to eat a lot of things there, unfortunately. And like, I've heard Japanese culture, they get quite offended if you ask to like alter things on their menu. Maybe that's wrong, but that would definitely worry me. Two week trip under 1700 or so. I mean, if it's a business expense, I'll go first class. <laughs> Don't you have the medication that helps with your tummy problems? It helps with my tummy problems for certain foods. However, it doesn't cover a lot of other foods. Example, wasabi will murder me if I have it even with my powder. Um, fake crab, murder me. Avocado, murder me. Pears, murder me. A bunch of other things. Apples. Yeah. Get some good din. Oh, thank you. I'm not sure what I'm going to get for dinner yet. I might order yakisoba. I didn't eat fake crab or avocado in Japan. There is fake wasabi, but don't eat grocery store sushi wasabi. Mm. You didn't have any fake crab and do they just not use it there? Is that like a American thing? Because I swear, like, most restaurants, even in Washington, I feel like, unless you go to the really expensive ones. I went to places with real wasabi they grate right in front of you. Interesting. I wonder if I can have real wasabi. I'll have to look it up. Like, basically, also, here's the other thing. Um, for example, like, most Japanese snacks use sorbitol as a sweetener. Sorbitol is an artificial sweetener. Or not artificial sweetener. It's, um, it's a FODMAP. And it, it destroys me. That's what I can't have in avocado. That's what I can't have in fake crab. And Japanese foods use it in damn near everything. It's quite unfortunate. So that, that's another thing that would worry me. Like, technically, sorbitol isn't artificial. Like, it's natural. But your body, if you can't process it, reacts to it as if you had an artificial sweetener. I'll be just violently ill. So that's my fear. If I spend, like, five grand to go to Japan and then end up on the toilet the whole trip, like, at least they have bidets, you know? At least my butthole wouldn't be, like, terrorized. Yeah. So I don't think I don't think I could have a lot of Japanese snacks, which would be a bummer. First time seeing you live on YouTube's. Well, sorry you had to come in uh, at that part of the stream. Um, we're <laughs> sorry about that. Oopsie. Someone donate one k to give him better meds. Bro, I don't think 1K could give me better meds. You'd have to give me, like, $7 million to research IBS. So if any of you are interested in giving me $7 million, I'll quit YouTube and start a non-profit IBS research company. Uh, I'm open to offers. Oh. 
Are you on infusions at all? No. IBS Misery Club, let's go. Gang, gang. Bro, what if we, like, sat at the toilet and died together? Would, wouldn't that be, like, epic? If we just, like, died? Make a brown and stinky IBS-inspired keyboard build. Um, I'm good. Just got my first good sounding keyboard today. Let's go. Yeah, I don't know if infusions would help with what I have, honestly. It doesn't seem to help with IBS that's linked to FODMAPs. Okay. Are you able to visit the Urban Rescue Ranch sometime? I, if I'm ever in Texas, I will visit. However, I don't see myself going to Texas for a bit. I don't like traveling. I love being in new locations, but I hate the act of traveling. It's my biggest thing. Okay, now with my stabilizers lubed, installing stabilizers on this keyboard is as easy as any other. All you have to do is go bing bong, bing bong, and then screw them in. All right. So I went bing bong, <coughs> and now I've got to screw them in. There were stabilizer screws included, right? Yeah. Don't forget foam. So actually, in this case, I don't need to put the PE foam down first. But thank you for trying to save me, because that is a mistake I make 24-7. What's the loudest you've ever bing-bonged? Oh my god, dude. I swear to god, I've bing-bonged so freaking loud. Now look. They, they have cutouts for the PE foam, so you don't need to do it. It can slide around it. Right? Ow. Right? Yeah, we're good. See? We're good. I don't need to worry about it. What do you think about Corsair buying drop? Um, I think it's a good thing. I think it's a pretty good thing. I think it'll give Drop a lot more resources to work with places that Corsair has worked with before. Corsair is a significantly bigger company than Drop. Like a lot of people thought Drop is this like huge, insanely massive corporation, but like they're relatively small. Um, so yeah, yeah, I think it's good. I think it'll be really good. From what I, I can't talk about any internal stuff that I've talked with them about it, but I don't think it's going to make that many significant changes to either business, but I think it'll be a net positive in the end. From how I've kind of interpreted it, is it kind of just seems like Corsair is just expanding their portfolio and Drop seemed like a good thing to acquire. Not necessarily like they're trying to poach their keyboard designs or something like that, you know? So I don't think Drops products will be changing short term at all. Long term, probably not. They might be improving with the resources that Corsair has access to. Corsair makes pretty bad keyboards, honestly. Um, but they have really good, like, manufacturing stuff all they have to do is just care about enthusiast principles and corsair keyboards could be really good just like anyone else's i mean asus did it asus was making pretty terrible keyboards and they sat down and listened to me in like a call for 
two hours and improve their stuff. What about my collabs with Barrett Creative, my favorite wooden desk accessory manufacturer? Yeah, they should still be working with Barrett Creative just like any of their other existing relationships. Like, they're not going to suddenly terminate their business relationships. They'd have no reason to. That would be a terrible business decision. Is that the WoW stick? It is. What switches are you using this build? I haven't fully decided yet. It's still kind of up in the air. I forget what color of keyboard I am building. Um, yeah. You should make a channel that you post clips of Nola on. Honestly, that's my plants channel. So you can follow uh, Hippio Plants at Hippio Plants on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. I make videos about plants, plant DIY, funny things that Nola does, funny things my frogs do. It's kind of just like my alt channel where I post whatever I want. No tech stuff, though. Anything tech related, it's going on Hippio Tech. Anything not tech related, it's going on Hippio Plants. I love your frogs. I love my frogs too. I freaking love them. They bring me so much joy. Um, I might be short one screw. I guess we'll find out. What's your plant channel called? It's literally called Hippia Plants. Does Nola ever watch the frogs? Yeah, so like Nola's favorite thing in the mornings, because my frogs are most active in the mornings, is I'll be like leaning back in my chair, like editing a short on my phone or like whatever. And she'll come, she'll hop up, she'll sit on my shoulder and she'll watch the frogs from my shoulder. And she'll just sit here and she'll purr and I'll just be like lean back chilling and she'll watch the frogs. She loves watching them. She doesn't harass them. Uh, there was like, there was maybe a week where she tried to kind of get at them, but she gave up pretty fast. Once she realized it was like pointless, yeah. I completely forgot I ordered a key from Barrett. Not sure when it's coming, but now I'm super excited again for it. Well, hey, there you go. Uh, what you can be happy about is that it is coming. I know that because, like, whenever we're playing League together, he's like, Sorry, I gotta go do another spray lacquer coat. He's, like, constantly spray lacquering and, like, Sorry, I'm at the shop constantly making keyboards like he's it's kind of annoying frankly but he's going hard um if you guys want to check out toby's keyboards you can type exclamation point toby you're constantly playing games i am not actually this last like the last like three plus months i have been playing games way 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 less i've been so busy i have been so busy especially since i started my plant channel i've been making two shorts a day on my plant channel i've grown it to eight thousand tiktok or eight thousand instagram followers in a month in two weeks so i'm probably gonna hit 10k by two months Come on. Gonna do holy mod on the stabs? No, I'm gonna be honest with you. My hottest take is the holy mod is the dumbest thing that's ever happened in this hobby. I can get it so pointless. I love Homage Neo. Um, I think the holy mod is so stupid. I, I never do it. I have built hundreds of keyboards and never been like, ah, I need to do the holy mod to make my keyboard sound better. It, it's just pointless. 
It's pointless. It's cope. It's pure cope. Like, just buy good stabilizers. You don't need the Holy Mod. My screwdriver stopped being magnetic. This is kind of an L. We can see your feet? I don't care. What other hobby trends are cope? Dude, the newest hobby trend I've seen in keyboards, it's like... I, I'll see a lot of people in Discord channels. I mean, in my Discord too, and it's kind of annoying. The... They'll see, like, one person that they, like, kind of admire their opinion of will say something about keyboards. Um, and then they'll just parrot it, even though they haven't actually experienced that personally. The biggest one that I've seen parroted is that, like, foam makes every keyboard sound the same. Which, like, is such a weird take. Because, obviously, keyboards sound different whether or not you've put foam in them or not. It, and I see it so often. And, like, half these people haven't tried that many keyboards. They're, like, typing it on their Razer keyboard. <laughs> and it's like, yes, clearly foam gives your keyboard a foamy sound profile. But it doesn't make it sound the same as every other keyboard with foam. I, it's a silly take. It's a silly take. Anyways. Oh, oops. My PE foam suit sounds different than some other PE foam boards I have. Yeah, a lot of times PE foam is to blame. And it's like, PE foam does something for sure. But it doesn't make your board instantly sound like every other board that's had PE foam put in it. And to say otherwise is just kind of silly. If I have a board with an aluminum case and a board with a polycarbonate case and I put a sheet of PE foam on the PCB, it's not instantly going to make the aluminum keyboard sound like the polycarbonate keyboard because they both have PE foam. Anyways, sorry, you got me too fired up. I think it's the stupidest take in the whole hobby. And anytime I see it, I instantly just disregard somebody's opinion. Because you're parroting somebody who's saying something stupid just because you like something else that they say? Anyways... Also, I've never seen any of them prove it. How many keyboards have I built? Anyways. After installing the stabilizers with my little bit of magic, I'm going to be putting on the PE foam. Now, this is just a sheet of foam that's going to make the keyboard sound like bing bong. If you're not familiar with PE foam, then uh, why not? There we go. I've put on the PE foam. We did it. That transition from rage to YouTuber voice. I feel the rage within. I feel it. Anybody know where my plate went? Next, we're just going to add this foam in between the plate and PCB. I personally really love this foam as it makes it basically irrelevant to screw the plate and PCB together. This saves you a little bit of time, a little bit of suffering, and overall leads to a better life experience. Also, at this point, I do need to install this other squishy bloop blop thing. Um, I kind of forgot to install that, so... I'm just going to put that right here and then take my, oh wait, is it not going to work? Hold on. Let me try and squish it into place. Now, apparently these squishy blue blop things are like space bar dampeners and not actually just a squishy blue blop thing, but yeah, hopefully that gives a nice little dampened sound to my space bar. Now at this point, I have the plate 
and the PCB all together. Also, by the way, the PCB is hot swap. Hot swap is great because it means you don't have to solder your keyboard. If you're not super, super into keyboards and wanting to customize your layout with weird fringe layouts that might require soldering, then hot swap is definitely the way to go. Alex, howdy, hey. Hey, Hippio, love the content. Have you tried the Nufi Halo boards? I have gotten asked about those boards a million times. I've tried to work with Nufi quite a few times. Um, and it's just like delayed things because I could have bought them myself and checked them out myself. But then they've been like, oh, we'll sponsor content. And then they like ghost me. And then they'll message me like a month later and be like, oh, we'll spot. And I'm like, guys. I. So anyways, the answer, long answer is uh, I hope to look at them soon. That's the long answer. Wait, that's the short answer. Yeah, Nufi's just like really weird. But here's what I want to know. Here's what I want to know from you guys. This is this is me talking to you. Where have you heard about Nufi? Was it from a YouTube video? Was it from a Discord? Was it from a friend? From an Instagram ad? Where have you heard about it? Because to me, they've kind of come out of nowhere. Short circuit, switch and click, Instagram, YouTube. Oh, hey, Funky. Heard it now for the first time. Never heard until just now. They run pretty strong Instagram key campaigns to non-keyboard people. That's what I think, because I hear about them the most from non-keyboard people. Christopher Jenkins, howdy, hey, I have a Keychron V5 that came in today, some heavy tactile Wuches. Uh, did some double shot, PPT keycaps, any type of mods you would do. Do the force break mod. Um, wait, the Keychron V5. Actually, I don't know if you need to force break that. Uh, tape mod. Tape mod. I wouldn't replace the stabs. I would just lube them with Crytox. Newfie ads go to people and in, into aesthetic stuff like cottage core and such. I'm going to have to do a deep dive on Newfie's advertising. Because as a marketing person, that's really interesting to me. Like, who's their target demo? Because there seems to be a weird overlap between people that are, like, starting to care about custom keyboards and knowing about Nufi. And that's really interesting. Like, who are they targeting? Who are they trying to get? I don't, I don't know. Anyways. I forgot to put away my Crytox. Where's your frog? Where's your frog is Oh, hey frog! What's up, dude? You sick, bro. He's sick! Now, for the switches, I've got something very interesting from Kinetic Labs. These were sent to me for free by Kinetic Labs. And these are the Voyager tactiles. Now, you're probably wondering, Hippio, you? Hippio Linear Switch Tech are using tactiles? Well, yeah, actually, a little bit ago, I asked Kinetic Labs what their favorite switch they sell was. And this is what they sent me. I haven't actually tried them yet, so this is my first impression reaction. Hold on. I have to turn off my AC unit. Wait, are these clicky? Wait, these are clicky. 
Is that intentional? Or are they just really tactile? Are these clicky or tactile? Wait, I can't tell. I think they're just really, really, really tactile. Alex, howdy, hey. Do you have recos for desoldering a ducky board? Buy another keyboard. Don't go through the trouble of desoldering a ducky keyboard. It's not worth it. That's my recommendation. Okay, um... I'm going to be honest. I'm a little bit scared to use these in this board because of how clacky they're sounding. But <clears throat> I guess I can open one. Uh, where's my switch open? Do I really not have a switch opener handy? Guys, I don't have a switch opener. All right, I'm saving these for a future video. Huh. Sorry, gang. Oh, I'm saving these. My switch opener is somewhere else. They're in a different castle. They're like hyper tactiles though, and they're kind of clicky. So um, you guys have been baited and outsmarted. How do you not keep a switch open next to you? That's what I'm wondering too. I swear I had one next to me, but it's not. Use Mirandi? I don't know. I feel like using Mirandi in every freaking board is going to be, like, so boring so fast, right? Like, sure, they're the best switch, but... Hmm. Let me see. Let me check my closet. They seem kind of good. Let me count how many I have of these. Now, these switches were sent to me for free by Keepfront like six months ago. So um, I genuinely don't know if they're in stock or not. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's, there's at least 80 here. Voyager switches do not have a weird stem design to increase click sound. Then why do they click when I press them down? They sound so clicky. Maybe I got a weird batch. I don't know. I should see what switches these are.
Let's see. I think... All right. No, it wasn't lube. All right, these are the honeycomb linear switches from Keepfront. They look like a cute little honeycomb, but then for some reason they have a black stem, so that's a bit of a weird vibe. They feel relatively decent. I kind of like that. It's $10.80 for a pack of 18, meaning, uh, math is hard. Somebody do the math of how many that would be for, like, 84. Somebody else can do the math. I'm going to leave that to somebody else. Anyways, they're a linear switch coming in at 65 grams with a two-stage spring. The, palm, the stem, palm, it's one of them long poles. We kind of like long poles. And uh, that's about all you really care about for a Switch, so I'm just going to put them in. Now, in classic Hippio Tech fashion, when putting in a Switch, make sure you support it from the back. Like so. But are they lubed? They are factory lubed, and they felt pretty smooth. Which is why I felt cozy enough to use them in this build. Use magic? Hold on. I have to put in a couple switches first. Don't get ahead of yourself. I'm hoping that this keyboard doesn't need a tape mod. Because it's pretty good. We'll find out though. I think my other keyboard hot take is I just don't really like the weird spring trends like i kind of just like a normal spring um i don't need my spring to feel different as i press it that's also me though you didn't even put in the gaskets um i don't need to do that yet okay with a couple switches in i'm gonna cast my magic bada bing bada boom I also really need food. Um, so I'm going to order food. Ooh, you know what sounds really good? A burger. A burger sounds really good. Hold on. I think I'm going to order Shake Shack. Because I could... I could go and walk and get a burger. But I feel like that'd be weirder than just, like, ordering it. I, I hate, like, the order culture of streamers. I've got to order so I can keep making content. That's so lame. Okay. I'm going to get a double shack burger. With a gluten-free bun. Food delivery is unethical? Well, in Seattle, there's like an extra $5 fee that goes to the delivery drivers, so it's a little bit less unethical. It is so expensive here. It is insane. Can I... I can't tell them to not... Oh my goodness, hold on. So I have to order a cheeseburger. Uh, 
add lettuce, add tomato, add a gluten-free bun. Make it double. There we go. All right, I'm gonna place that order. Yeah, I always tip very well. My average delivery order ends up being like 35, 40 bucks after tip, which is like, yeah, it's, it's rough. It's rough. But with your four dollars that you, or five dollars that you just donated, I'll bump the tip up even more. We'll make this guy's day. And I'll order it express, because I'm, <laughs> I'm really hungry. You have to eat unhealthy. I do eat pretty unhealthy. Imagine joining the stream just to see him ordering dinner. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm, I did not prep well enough for this. I expected this to take like an hour to build the keyboard and then Nola interrupted pretty hard. Okay, I also want boba though, since I'm ordering food. Let me see if I can double dash. There's the boba. Where's the boba? Where's the boba? I'm scrolling. You just joined? Okay, if you just joined, we'll be getting to build a keyboard very soon. <gasps> Is the Boba store I ordered from closed? Oh no. This is tragic. Anybody live in Seattle? What's the best Boba in Seattle? All right, you one, you go enjoy the boba. Godspeed, soldier. Thank you for hanging out. Bubble tea garage. That sounds like a fake restaurant. Gold tea. Strawberry fruit tea. Yum yum. With fresh strawberries. Oh, I want strawberry lemonade though. Strawberry lemonade sounds so good right now. Am I wrong? I'm not wrong. Meow. All right, I found Boba. I did it. 
I did it, guys. I ordered boba. I'm sorry. That was a boring segment of the stream. I'm not gonna lie. Sorry. I probably just spent more money on that food order that I'm gonna make all stream. But that's fine. Because this stream was sponsored by iQnix. Yay. iQnix got my back. All right, ordered. Let's put the switches in. That is actually my favorite part of doing a sponsored stream. I don't care if I get donations. Like, they're nice, but I'm covered. Meow, meow. Jeez, putting these switches in is pretty tough. I got to turn my AC back on. I started getting really sweaty. I prefer Mirandi switches over box inks. Mirandi switches are just pretty god tier. Is the Dust Silver giveaway just for in stock keyboards? Yes, it is. Yeah, in stock only. Um, but that actually reminds me that, yes, I am doing a giveaway right now. Um, if you guys would like the chance to win one of three free keyboards, Nola, please stop, dear God. Please stop. Thank you. I'm giving away three free keyboards right now in partnership with Dust Silver. You can type exclamation point giveaway to check them out and click the link. Exclamation point giveaway if you'd like to check out my giveaway. Corsair bot drop. Yeah, I was just talking about that actually. Only one person needs to type it and then you guys can all click the same link. You guys can all click the same link. Holy moly, a lot of people wanted <laughs> that free keyboard. Um, that giveaway is to celebrate. I hit 100,000 followers on Instagram, which I thought was really cool. That was always something I, I wanted on Instagram. Instagram's so much harder to grow on. Um, on top of that, Nola. On top of that, uh, I also released a new song. Not a lot of you know it, but I actually do make music as Cadeli. Um, Cadeli is my music name. You can check my music out by typing exclamation point music. As part of the giveaway, um, you got to listen to my new song. That's a trade offer. You have a chance of winning free keyboard. I get your chance at listening to my new music, which is good anyway. So it's a win-win for you. I have like four of yours on my playlist already. I appreciate that. Literally, the number one thing you can do to support an artist, aside from giving them money, is putting their stuff on a playlist. Like, especially if you listen on Spotify. Spotify loves that. I put Burn Down together in my playlist, so I'll definitely give the new song a try. Yeah, it's got pretty similar vibes. Um, so if you like Burn Down together, you'll probably like this one. It's kind of like my newer style that I've been working on. Um... However, my newest song that I'm working on is a totally different style. Um, there's a good chance a lot of you might really just dislike it. It's it's super angsty. It's super emo. It's got swearing. Like, I just thought it was fun to work on, so I made it. And that's really, like, I, I don't make music for the fame, but I do really want people to listen to it. But yeah, that song will be out in like another two months, probably. Ugh. Putting these switches in is rough. The tolerance is crazy on these. Is Alfred in it? <laughs> you wish. Maybe I should, like, put on gloves or something. Oh, my God. Oof.
Okay. What are these switches? They're cube front honeycomb linears. Also, if you're just tuning in and you're wondering what board I'm building, you can check it out with exclamation point build. This is a sponsored stream from IQNix. They have not told me what to say about their keyboard. Uh, obviously, they can't review the footage because I'm live. Sponsoring a live stream is the boldest form of sponsorship, so I, I am very honored by that. Is there a reason you put the switch in like this instead of putting it on the assembled board? Yeah, so this is a great way of ensuring that there's counter pressure on the hot swap sockets as you put the switches in. So there's much less of a risk of a hot swap socket coming out. Now you can put the counter pressure with your hands. You can put the counter pressure with the hard solid desk. But essentially, if you just have the, the keyboard assembly floating free form, especially on a gasket mounted board, there's nothing pushing against that hot swap socket. And they're still only attached by like a fragile piece of solder. So there's a chance one might pop out if you're not careful, like especially if you have a bent pin or something. So this is just ensuring that I hopefully never have to re-solder a hot swap socket back in. I've only ever had to do it once on a keyboard. It sucked. It's definitely not a rare occurrence. Hippio, what is your favorite key switch? Mirandi's. I thought we didn't like group buys. I don't like group buys. I don't. 100%. I don't like group buys. Um, primarily with keycaps. Like, the song that I made about hating group buys was about keycaps. I think keycap group buys are silly. Um... The overhead on making a keycap set is a lot, 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 lot smaller than making a keyboard. Um, I've made one keycap set fully in stock. I'm making another keycap set fully in stock soon. I'm putting my money where my mouth is on that one. Um, with keyboards, it's tough. It's really tough because I don't like group buys. Um, I, I see why brands do it. It's incredibly safe. It's basically combining like an interest check into production. It's safe for the brands, not for the consumer. <laughs> now, generally, like what my stance has been personally, as far as making content about group by boards is like, I only want to make content about a brand that's at least proven. So like, your average Joe Jenkins that's running a group buy on a keyboard, I'm probably not going to look at that. I'm definitely not going to promote it. But IQNix, a company that's ran 20 plus different keyboards in stock, and I think they've ran stuff as group buys before. Like, I'm not worried that IQNix is going to run off with people's money. Like, do I think the way that they're running the sale is a bit dumb? Yes. But, yeah, I, I hope that helps clear something up. Like, at this point, if I avoided group buys for all of my content, then I just wouldn't have a lot of content to make. Especially about new and exciting things. As far as keycaps, though, I just don't make videos on keycaps anymore. It's pretty much a pre-order? Yes and no. I mean, look at look at the stuff that just happened with Mex and Co. Or Mex and Company. Like, they seem to be a proven vendor. People were telling me time after time that they were a good vendor. I met them in person at PAX at a booth that they probably spent like a thousand thousands of dollars on. And they were scamming. They were running a scam. They were straight up running like a, a alleged Ponzi scheme. Like they were allegedly using group buy money to fund other group buys or something like that. Like, I, they seemed like nice people and they were scamming. That That's just crazy. And that's why group buys are risky. There's going to be thousands of people that are going to go without product that they purchased because of their ineptitude. Or maybe they're... they're Malice, who knows? It's it's hard. It's hard to tell. 
ultimately though like i i did avoid working with mex and co because i got like weird vibes but i never had any like i wasn't like oh these guys are scamming um they just were like doing a lot and anytime somebody's like doing a lot i'm always just a little bit skeptical like it's not a bad thing but it could get a little bit overwhelming sing that i don't care about plastic but they said it was fantastic bro i i don't think i could sing right now i my allergies are so bad wordle g howdy hey welcome to the watering hole gang thank you so much use your magic i wish my magic worked right now i wish Oh, thoughts on the GMK 67. I've never tried it. People always ask me to try it, though. Where's Nola? Um, she left. I wouldn't let her bite my cords, so she moved on to a different room of the house to go terrorize it. Um, actually, that worries me because I think I have an alocasia that is not protected right now that she might go for. Are the mint caps good? I don't think I've tried mint caps. I don't know what you're talking about, though. Reminder to chat to like the video. Yes. Like the video, chat. Why do you always go for linear switches? Um, They're what sounds and feels familiar to me. I, I prefer the sound profile and the feel profile. Um, I don't always go for linear switches, but I do heavily skew towards them. It's just what I prefer. It's preference. Um, when showcasing a lot of boards, if I tend to use the same type of style showcasing them, it might even be a little bit easier for viewers to reference. Um, that's not necessarily my first priority, but it, it is another reason. Like, generally, when brands ask to send me something, I usually prefer stuff that I'm going to personally like because it's easier for me to be, like, transparent and honest about something if it's something that I prefer. Like, if a brand sends me clicky switches, I'm going to be like, these are nice for a clicky. But if I was, like, a clicky fanatic, maybe I'd be like, oh, these slap, dude. I freaking love these, dude. These are sick, bro. You know what I mean? It's a little bit different. Oh my god, though. Putting in these switches is, like, killing me. The tolerances on these switches are super tight. I think it's the switches, not the plate. But I'm not, I'm not sure. This is rough, though. The amount of force. And because it's a flex cut PCB. Ugh. Cadeli. That's the worst way to spell Cadeli ever. Oh, that was my Windows sound. Sorry, guys. Is this a Franken switch? No, it's a normal switch. You can buy it from Keepfront. I think you can use code Hippio to save 5% or something. Ah. Do you think the Aviator keyboard cables are worth it? I personally... Here's, here's my thing. I don't like the aesthetic, but I think if you like the aesthetic, it's worth it. Because it's a cool cable, and it... it is the way to customize your desk. Um, this keyboard in particular actually came with one that I thought looks and feels very premium. Like, quite nice. Yeah. Who's the actual manufacturer? You know, it doesn't say on the page, so I can't tell. And the switches are branded keep front, so I also can't tell. Have you ever tried Akko Sakuras? I think so. I think they're fine. What switches were in the Zoom? Mirandi switches. Um, Worlded G. Or Wordled G. Howdy, hey. Uh, if you link your Discord and your YouTube after becoming a YouTube member like you have just done, thank you so much for that. Then in the Discord, after linking it to your YouTube, you should be now able to view the members only channel. In the members only channel, there's a pinned message with that secret code that you can use to get extra entries into the giveaway. 
please do not share that secret code with anyone. I will know if you've shared it because I can see who's entered it and whether or not they're a member. So if you enter it and you're not a member, then I'll invalidate all of your entries. Anyways. I see y'all. But if you'd like to enter my giveaway, you can enter my giveaway with exclamation point giveaway. Um, I would recommend restarting your Discord. If not, you can message a moderator. Um, but make sure it's linked on Discord side and on YouTube side. <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> oh, see what I said about the allergies? <coughs> I've got such a bad cough now. Oh. Hold on. Let me check what my food's getting here. Thirty one minutes. That's rough. Ah. Boom. And just like that, with a little bit of magic, we've got all the switches in. Now, I will say, putting the switches in this bad boy kind of sucked. Like, these switches already had a tight tolerance. The plate had a tight tolerance. And with the flex cuts, it was just pretty rough. Like, it took about 30 minutes and my thumbs hurt more than something that hurts. Um, There's like a YouTube connections page or something like that, Wordle. Uh, I would Google it, how to connect your YouTube and your Discord. And then there should be a guide there. Now... Okay, let me get another B-roll shot. B-roll shot, B-roll shot. This is a shot of B-roll. Take a shot, take a B-roll. This is a, a shot of B-roll. These are the Honeycomb Linear Switches from Keepfront. You can check them out um, at Keepfront. Use code HIPPIO to save 5%. Bro, Tight Tolerances was my nickname in high school. <laughs> Will you make a video on this keyboard or just a live stream? Uh, that depends on if it's good. So, like, I'm recording everything. Anytime I make a stream, I usually record it as if I'm going to make a video from it. Uh, and then I only make a video from it if it's interesting enough. Uh, a lot of streams get scrapped. Maybe a board isn't interesting enough. Maybe it's not good enough. Maybe a board is good enough. Maybe I don't have the time. Who knows? Anyways. Now, next is the part that I've actually been dreading the most. And it will get to how good this board is going to be soon. But first, we have to struggle a little bit. Now, this is where I'm actually a little bit confused, as this board has been super premium up till now, but they decided to opt for pour-on gaskets. Now, pour-on gaskets aren't inherently not premium. However, they're also infuriatingly annoying to apply to a keyboard. In this respect, that actually makes it so I never, ever, ever, ever want to see these in a keyboard ever again. Use sock gaskets. Stop using pour-on gaskets, please. Anyways, I'm gonna put these on. You're probably wondering what do gaskets do? If you're new to keyboards, gaskets uh, can make the typing experience a little bit squishier and more dampened. I say can because they can also do nothing. So we'll be putting that to the test later in the video whether or not these do anything whatsoever. Now, putting these on, uh, you just have to very delicately 
put them on and don't mess up. Because if you mess up, <laughs> that would be so awkward if you messed up. But you wouldn't want to do that. Uh, and then repeat it for all of these on both sides. So I won't let you suffer with me. I'm going to do some magic. So Poron doesn't suck like feel-wise or sound-wise. It literally just sucks application-wise. It's a personal gripe. It infuriates me. However, as a human being with opinions, I am entitled to them. Um, and that's how it goes. No script like a pro? I have... You want to know a secret? You want to know a secret? Between you and me? Between you and me. I have never scripted a main video. Never. Never. I don't... I don't script. I think scripting is a waste of time. Like, I, uh, I tried writing a script once for a skit, and then I improv it instead because I, I liked it better. Um, it, it's just, like, I'll do some research, and I'll know kind of, like, what I want in my brain, and then, like, it'll just come out. I, scripting, I feel like, ends up robotic. It ends up static you're not gonna tell as good of a story um like sometimes at most i'll block out like intro teasing this then something doing this like that's about it though i feel like otherwise you're just making i don't know scripting has a place like if you're Linus and you're coming into a tech tip shoot and you know nothing about the thing you can just read a script off a teleprompter that's been written eloquently, and bada-bing, bada-boom, you're golden. Um, Katie, I don't actually have a plant tour, but I have a plant channel at Hippio Plants. Um, I should really just make a link for it. My end key is, like, broken because I spilt Popsicle in it. Let me make a, uh, a little bing bong. Um, hold on. I'll also include my plant Instagram. How about that? That way you guys can follow my plant Instagram. I actually made such a good short today. I went to Jeff Bezos' balls and I filmed a short. And I think it's a really, it's, it's a good one. You guys are going to have to check it out. Um, if you type exclamation point plants, you can check out my plant channel. Um, honestly, I, I recommend my Instagram over my plant YouTube. I upload the same content on both, but for some reason, Instagram is just higher quality. So if you want to see me visiting Jeff Bezos's balls, then you can check out my plant channel. I also post videos of my poison dart frogs, my isopods and Nola. It's kind of just like a Hippio posts whatever the hell he wants type of channel. Um, if that sounds good to you, you can check it out. Exclamation point plants. Um, wait, is the link bugged? Oh, sorry. I, I forgot to put a space. My bad. Let me fix that. One second. One second. I forgot a space. All right, uh, try that again. Exclamation point plants. Exclamation point plants. I fixed it. You can stop. You can stop. I fixed it. <clears throat> um, I think the lilac was back ordered, so... 
It might have taken a bit longer. There we go. There's my plant channel and plant Instagram. What are your thoughts on MT3 black on white? MT3 isn't my favorite profile, but drop they they're good keycaps. I think relubing oil kings is like legitimately pointless. I've tried lubed oil kings and stock oil kings. Um, yeah, Wordled, I just, I'm not sure. I, the YouTube Discord connection seems pretty easy to set up. Uh, not a lot of people have had issues with it. You could try contacting a mod. Maybe they can help. Um, or maybe just, I, I don't want to say try looking harder because that sounds like demeaning, but it's definitely out there because I've walked people through it before. Uh, I would recommend restarting your Discord. Is there a vendor you recommend for Mirandis? Um, I recommend Wuche Studios, but that's because I get the highest affiliate commission if you buy them from them versus other places. That is completely biased. Like... I have, I think, three different affiliates that all sound, or all sell Brandies. But yeah, bias towards Ruche on that one. Ugh. Amazon and Divinity are cheaper for Ruche because shipping. Fair enough. I think Wuche does sell through Amazon, but I'm not sure. Okay, I'm just putting on gaskets. They've sent me switches before, and they arrived in an Amazon package. So, yeah, that's all I could. I think they fulfill from. Ah. Yeah, I get more tired with every gasket I put on, I swear to God. Because they never go on perfectly. So it's just going to be, like, slightly worse. And, like, God hates me. Everything's over. I just never want to put on a gasket again. Ugh. Hold on, I got to check on my food. I'm getting grumpy. Please tell me my food is getting here. It's still 15 minutes away. <sighs> they can't keep getting away with this. Has the hangry fully set in? I'm probably like five minutes away from full hangar. It's happening now. I can feel it. We're doomed. Okay. All right, here we go. Boom. 
Now, ignoring the fact that I literally just went insane putting those on, it wasn't bad. It was fine. There was nothing bad that happened putting those on. I didn't go insane. I didn't scream to the heavens. They can't keep getting away with this. So now that we've done that, it appears that we're getting much closer to finishing this keyboard. Um, maybe. Hold on. I don't actually remember where I put the keyboard. Oh, they didn't send me a blue one? I wanted a blue one. Um... <clears throat> Let me see. So they put on the switches and the keycaps first? Okay, so they put the two silicones in. Unscrew the keyboard top. All right, so I don't want to put the keycaps in yet. All right, perfect. Let me get a, a shot of these gaskets real fast for B-roll purposes. There's a shot of the gaskets. All right. <clears throat> okay. Um, I think that's all I need from that. We're getting into the final stretch, gamers. It's also starting to get darker. I had to turn up this camera like a lot. Enjoyed Burn Down Together. It's now part of my daily playlist. Well, hey, you'd probably really like my new song, How the Sky Looked. You can check it out by typing exclamation point music. Now, here's where this keyboard build starts to get very, very weird. It's been basically like a normal keyboard build this whole time, but remember how I was talking earlier about how the keyboard is almost like a all-top case? Well, yeah, it is almost like all-top case. So in order to build this thing out, I'm going to have to secure it to the top case. And... You're probably thinking, Hippio, it's a gasket mount, but there's nowhere for the gaskets to sit on on the bottom. Well, we'll get to that in just a second. Now, first things first, I'm going to need to connect these cables. Ah, rats. I hate connecting these cables, but it'll be fine. So I'm going to put in the knob cable with a little bit of a bing bong. Come on. Sir? Sir! Sir, get in the hole. There we go. Easy. No problems there. And now I'm going to put this one in the hole. Also going to be no problems here. Easy. This has kind of come loose during shipping, so I'm just going to reseat it. There we go. That was actually really easy. Okay. Now, with this, if I flip this keyboard back over, he's falling out. There's no gaskets happening there. I'm going I'm to tell you that right now. So, let's go ahead and finish this thing off with a little bit of spice. So, here's where I'm a little bit skeptical of this keyboard's design. These are aluminum gasket holders. Now, 
With these luminate gasket holders, I'm going to install them over the gaskets here. However, this is going to be another point of metal-on-metal metal contact. My guess is that I'm probably going to need to come back at some point and put tape here. However, stay tuned, because maybe I won't need to. Maybe it's going to sound really good without it, and I'm just being overdramatic. Okay, now which screws am I using for these? M4. M24. They look the same. I'm assuming it's these longer guys. Yeah. <laughs> so. Screwing these in. Very easy. Uh, Very easy. There we go. Oh, the board just kind of went ooh, when I did that. He kind of went, ooh. Let's take the other screw. Make him go, ooh. All right. And let's do that, uh, like, seven more times. With a little bit of magic. Bro, imagine he zaps the PCB. What do you mean? I don't zap PCBs. I've only ever zapped one PCB, all right? And I cover so many keyboards in plastic wrap, you don't even know. Ramen mod? I actually went to a ramen place today. But I didn't get ramen. I got chicken katsu, and it was really good. If you guys are ever in Seattle... Go to Nuna Ramen. Really, really good. Really good ramen. How was your last rock climbing session? It's honestly been like two and a half months since my last rock climbing session because I got sick and then my tendons keep flaring up. So I haven't been able to climb yet. Um. So yeah, it's it's a little bit sad. It's a sad point for me, honestly. Only been to Pike Place? Yeah, Pike Place, uh... It's okay. Um... Here's something interesting. There's... <coughs> there's a screw... Um, here's a bit of a problem. While I was installing those little gasket blockers, I realized on my prototype keyboard, they accidentally left a screw installed um, and then painted over it. Now, I'm, uh, um, um, uh, let's just hope I can get this out. Let's just hope it unscrews. Okay, thank God. Wow. I was scared there. I was scared. I was genuinely scared. All right, back to the regular uh, programming. Congratulations on the screw for coming out. Whew. Guys, I was, I was, I'm legitimately sweating. Like, look at my sweaty hands here. Yucky. It worked! Yay! Good job. Yeah, I'm really curious to see how this design is going to work. I've never seen this design in a keyboard before. Um, I don't know European grading scale. I used to be able to climb up to V7. 
Nowadays, I could probably climb up to like V4 because I'm like super out of shape. The pandemic really ruined me. I was climbing five times a week pre-pandemic. I was like, I was a collegiate rock climber. Like I went to competitions to compete. I competed at Stanford. I competed at Humboldt. Like, uh, but yeah, I, not being able to climb in gyms for a year really ruined me. Really ruined me. I built my own climbing wall and I just didn't have the motivation to use it. It like cuz I I climbed as a social thing. Although the pandemic was rough on me. Thoughts on Magnus? I don't watch anything Magnus related, so I don't really have thoughts. Like, I know of him, but that is it. Are you going to check out the Tofu 65 too? Probably not. Um, it's not in my cards. These screw holes are so tiny. And I... One tip I would say for iQnix, if you're still somehow watching this, like if somebody at iQnix unfortunately has to watch my whole stream because it's sponsored, um, first of all, howdy hey. I hope your day's going well. I'm sorry that they made you watch a full Hippiotech stream at iQnix. Um, secondly, please magnetize the screws and the screwdriver bit um that would honestly be such a good perk that takes like literally no time um so please magnetize the screwdriver bit and the screws for this board there's your pro tip iqnix there you go i just made you hundreds of dollars you could pay me double Food soon? I hope so. I hope so, you guys. I'm hungry. Let me check. Hold on. It's still nine minutes away. Ah. Okay. Shake Shack literally takes the longest of any DoorDash order. Um... I'm not sure why. Shake Shack is just a bit of an L establishment uh, when it comes to deliveries. Swiftness. It Part of me doesn't want these side gaskets in. I might take them out. We'll see. Generally, I think side gaskets are a bit pointless. We'll see if this board needs it for stability or not. Part of me thinks I could take them out and have it be pretty squishy. <coughs> Feels so weird without magic. I know, I feel like I'm Santa Claus, like, ruining... Christmas for everybody every time that I stream. Some people like my streams more than my videos, though. I feel like I had a, a solid gang on Twitch over there that, like, 
didn't watch my videos and just watched my streams. It's a totally different vibe. Like, my videos are usually, like, calm, collected, a little bit chaotic, but, like, at least decently thought through. And then my streams are, like, hectic, ranty. I'm usually a little bit grumpy, I'm not gonna lie. But, you know, it's, like, a, it's a different side of me. It's still me. It's just a different part. Okay. So many hairs. All right. Now, I've installed all of these, and there's a couple things that I still want to do. Now, what I can do, and what I might do in the future, is remove these side gaskets to see if it gives the board a bit of better gasket performance. Gaskets are supposed to make your board feel a little bit squishier and a little bit more dampened. And generally, I find that side gaskets just kind of take away from that. So these might go soon. However, what I do need to do is put the rest of the foam in the keyboard case. And I think there's actually less foam than I was expecting. Because I'm looking here. I've got the keyboard case. And I've got this foam which goes here but then like this foam goes here maybe um yeah so that fits in there that's not a lot of foam so there's a chance that this board might need a tape mod there's a chance that it might need some mods but there's also a chance that that means it's gonna be pretty good okay Additionally, I also need to connect both batteries up here. So, connecting the batteries. There's two battery cables on the, the wireless version. Connecting them should be easy enough. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's not as easy as I thought it would be. This is a little bit, uh, a little bit tedious, you know. A little bit teeds. Oh man. Just use your magic. <laughs> Bro, if I could use magic to plug in cables, oh my god. Oh, it's lighting up. It's lighting up. Whoa. Hey. Well, I already have a light on, which means that I didn't fry the PCB. That's a good sign. What I would like to try is I'm going to seal up the case and then we'll move on to the next part of the build. So since this keyboard is so ridiculously easy to assemble and disassemble, literally four screws. That's that's insane. Boop. Four screws. That is so good. Make it less one screw. How much did that screwdriver cost you? I got it for free from Banggood. You don't even have to flip it over to the back. Boop. So, now the keyboard... Very solid. I don't hear any shaky. I don't hear any bing bong. Just the switches themselves. Already 
seem pretty good. There's actually a decent amount of flex to this as well. I'm excited to put these keycaps on. And that brings me to the keycaps. Now, for this particular build, it's a little bit more interesting. Now, for some of you, this might be a love it or hate it kind of keycap set. This is the newest keycap set from Kinetic Labs. Uh, shoot, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> ah. This is the newest set from Kinetic Labs, Galaxy PBT, or Polycaps Galaxy. It comes in at $64.99, which makes it, I would say, like, an even-priced keycap set. And it's definitely, like, a more interesting color scheme, but I'm personally kind of in love with it. It's got a very, very nice space aesthetic with purple and vibrant blues. I also am a really big fan of the pink subtext on the mod legends. Now, some people might not like this, but I personally really, really enjoy them. They're double shot PBT, which gives them a little bit of a deeper sound. They're also from the same factory that does shift with a space T. This is the standard double shot PBT mold that you'll find on almost any double shot set. In fact, you'll even find them on like DCX sets. Anyways, I'm going to test one of these keycaps. Let's see if I like the sound of this before I uh, fully commit. That sounds pretty good to me. Okay. <clears throat> oh, let me get a B-roll shot of the keycaps first. Wait. Don't get excited, guys. Don't get too excited. I need a B-roll shot of the keycaps. If you didn't get to hear, sucks to suck. <gasps> My food. It's here. I'll be right back. My food just got here. Can you tell me how the sky looks? On the day that she broke my heart. Tell me, please, give me the 
piece of mind that I need Honesty's jaded and I need sleep Hearts contemplating like It's like nursing a feeling that I don't know Life's lost its meaning and I can't hold the pieces together I need to know Was it the stars in my eyes? What's in the sky that's revolting dearly? Was it the pain I can't hide? Was it the reason that you're looking through me? Was it the stars in my eyes? So hard, your recourse is the sky. I know we can't see eye to eye. So please tell me how the sky looks. On the day that you broke my heart, however many seconds I took.
Okay. Right for turn. Sorry, my fries were like super soggy. So I had to heat them up in my air fryer. I bet none of you had that on your bingo card. Did anybody guess that? More Hippio song? If you guys want to listen to more of my song, you can listen to it by typing exclamation point music. Uh, check it out. Stream it on Spotify. Stream it on any platform. Share it with your friends. Word of mouth is literally like the number one way to get a song out there. Maybe be like, hey, do you, do you guys like music, right? You want to hear the sick song from this YouTuber that I watch? It's crazy. He's a YouTuber, but he actually makes good music. <clears throat> I did not dono wall the giveaway. Anyone can enter the giveaway without paying. Um, there are bonus entries locked behind being a, a channel member, but that is not donation walling the giveaway. If you want to check out the giveaway, you can type exclamation point music. Josh, you make me sad. Uh, you make me sad. I baited you the giveaway is exclamation point giveaway. <laughs> Bro, I just paid like 40 bucks for this, all right? I'm gonna need you to chill. I tipped the guy 20 bucks. Let me check. Hold on. Let me look at my DoorDash receipt. Um, yeah, it was $45. $45 after tip. But look at my boba. It's so yummy. I'm hungry. Hungry, hungry hippie. One of my family members, like when I first started my YouTube channel, I was still very small. They gave me a gift for my birthday that was hungry, hungry hippos. But they had like drawn over and made it hungry, hungry hippios. It was very sweet. I know how to make boba, but... I can't actually make boba while I'm streaming building a keyboard. I don't get why Americans run off tips. Um, the companies now know that they can get away with not paying living wages and guilting Americans into tipping. I think tipping culture is horrific. I would love for America to do away with tipping. I think it creates a terrible power dynamic between consumers and uh, workers. Um, I don't see it going away anytime soon in America. America is a terrible, terrible country when it comes to that. Especially in Seattle. Like, tipping culture is nuts here. It's nuts. They want you to tip when you're picking up orders. Like, it's a bit wild. A lot of restaurants have started charging, like, auto gratuity on pickup orders. Which is interesting. I Am I wrong for thinking that's weird?
R.I.P. Dr. Pepper desk map. <clears throat> the IQNix employee watching the stream. <laughs> watching Hippia with Shake Shack and Boba. The minimum tip was 22%. Oh, geez. Yeah, like, I don't know. When somebody's providing, like, a service, like, I guess it makes sense to tip. I still think I much prefer it if tipping culture, like, didn't exist and, like, they were just paid a living wage and that was incorporated into the menu's pricing. Um, Because I just, I, I don't like the guesswork. I, I feel like it's unnecessary. I feel like it's really weird to, like, gauge a server's performance and then be like, oh, how do I tip? You know? Like, it's just, it's just not good. Eat the plate afterwards? What the hell? Some days I made three bucks, other days I made 105, never knew how much I would have. Yeah, I feel like that makes it pretty stressful too. Like, don't get me wrong. I worked as a barista for two years. So I'm very familiar with tipping culture. And as a worker, I hated it. Why would you mix ketchup and barbecue that's criminal? Have you tried it? It's really good. How do you feel about minimum wage? In America, like across the board, I think it needs to be raised even more. Like, there's no reason companies should be making billions of dollars in profit and minimum wage shouldn't be higher. Like, it's a scam. They're just lobbying. You're getting me political. I'm going to go full socialist on half of you guys. You got to be careful. Next thing you know, I'm going to be like Hassaning or something. Ugh. How do we go from keyboards to wages? Um, because my DoorDash order was like 45 bucks and then that just spiraled down like a different rabbit hole. Sorry. Um, I'll be building a keyboard soon. I, I'm on the final step of building this keyboard. I just need to put the keycaps on. And so far, based on testing one keycap, I think this keyboard is going to be really good. So you probably don't want to miss it. Like this keyboard is going to be very good. However, I, I do need to eat um, because this stream has already taken an extra hour than I thought it would take. So, yeah, yeah, we're trudging through this one. Raising minimum wage causes inflation. There's just not a lot of evidence to support that. A lot of things cause inflation, but raising minimum wage inherently doesn't cause inflation. It's a bit of a fallacy. It can be a contributing factor. I went to school for business. You know, I know Fox News talking points. Anyways, I'm not here to get political. I'm here to build a keyboard and eat uh, really unhealthy food. 
That's the American way. Hippia should enter his Hassan arc. I really don't like the internet culture of being, like, toxically political, though. Like, I feel like Hassan is way too polarizing. And he knows how to be a really good entertainer. But I'm just not a fan. I bet you should run for president. You're astronomically based. <laughs> I would hate being president so much. I swear to God, I would hate being president. Like, I'm the type of person where I really like making decisions. I, I really, I like making decisions, but I hate being in the spotlight. Like, so, I don't know. <clears throat> You'll be better than the current president? I'm not going to lie. A lot of people would be better than Joe Biden. Um, I don't think we I've ever had a president that I'm happy with. Like, I feel like to reach that level of politics, you have to be inherently, like, soulless. Because you have to care so much about power. Nobody's getting that far on goodwill. I don't know. Like, there might be advisors and people getting that far on goodwill. Salt the fries? They're already salted. I don't need more salt. Are you trying to give me a heart attack? The poor IQNix person getting, like, inundated with American propaganda. I'm going to accidentally get the stream blocked in China. I personally don't like politics because it makes people argue, but so does everything. Yeah, like, it's honestly been a bit disheartening seeing, like, how polarized everyone has gotten about everything. Like, it's a bit sad. It's a bit sad. Does China have YouTube? They do with a VPN. Otherwise, like, 90% of these keyboard companies could not watch my channel. And that would be really sad. <clears throat> I think China is actually having a really, really, really big keyboard meetup today. Um, Wuche had me record, like, a greeting for the Chinese keyboard community. I thought that was really sweet. So a bunch of uh people at the chinese keyboard meetup got a howdy hey an exclusive howdy hey i'm gonna be honest never mind i won't say that i won't say that i don't know if that would be insensitive to the chinese audience I was going to say ni howdy hey, like ni hao, but then also howdy hey. But I feel like that's treading a line, you know? That's treading a line. Do I think it's funny? A little bit. Is it my place to make? No. Hey, I'm Chinese. It's not that bad. All right. Thank you. I, I thought about recording that, but I was like, Somebody could take it the wrong way. I don't want somebody to take it the wrong way. It's a pun. The keyboard is behind me. It exists. I'm almost done with the hamburger. Just bear with me. Please bear with me. Ugh.
Oh, man. If I eat too fast, I'm going to get the poopies. You guys don't want me to get the poopies midstream, or that keyboard is never happening. All right? Just have faith. <sighs> Can we get an update on the plant keyword? Um... It's doing really good. I rebuilt it um, with different plants that are a little bit more hardy for like the fluctuating moisture conditions. Um, and I would say about 80% of them are still doing great. I went to my, my local plant shop and the owners kind of helped me out. They gave me like some tips of how I could keep them alive. And so far they've survived quite a bit. <clears throat> Mr. Guillotine, it's funny you say that because I literally just got the OnePlus keyboard in the mail and I have Montech keyboards behind me. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll probably be checking those out soon. The Montech keyboards I'll be making a short on. Um, they're interesting, but they're not interesting enough for a full video. So those are going to be a short. The OnePlus keyboard I'm not sure about yet. It's pretty damn good. Like, I, I tested it out earlier today. Um, I won't talk about it too much more because this is an iconic stream. That would be kind of unfair for them to sponsor a stream. But, yeah. It, this is during the mukbang segment, so I'm going to allow it. Hippio, when are you going to start swearing? I swear a lot. Like, I'm a sailor in real life. Um, I don't swear on YouTube because it would get me demonetized. Like, there's no point. There's no point in swearing on YouTube. You will just make less money. So, I won't. I will not be swearing on YouTube. I swear on my music. If you want to hear me swear, you can go listen to my hit song, Wake Up, by Cadeli. I say the F word a lot. Uh, so, if you want to hear me say the F word a lot, you can go listen to my hit new song, Wake Up by Cadeli. That's not a new song. I released it like a year and a half ago. Um, but yeah, I say the F word a lot. So if you want to hear me just lay bombs, there you go. But yeah, in a video or a stream, I'll, I've swore a couple times on a stream on accident. But yeah. Like, um, I think it was like a couple streams ago on Twitch. Nola like bit my arm so hard. I just screamed the F word because it hurt so bad. I was like bleeding on my arm. But I, I try not to. I try not to swear while I'm live. There's the uh, the bite mark scar. I think that might be one of them. I've got a lot of random like Nola scars. There's some right here. Come on. It won't focus. Whatever. Nola likes to chomp. Um, it's it's unfortunate. I really dislike that about her. Um, yeah. Has Noah ever slapped you? 
No. She's not a scratcher. She's never scratched and hurt me intentionally. Only ever on accident. Um. But yeah, she, she bites a lot. It's pretty rough. I watched a Sense 75 review, except the guy didn't mod it and said it wasn't worth the time to mod it. Whose review was that? That's such an L take. I mean, it doesn't matter anymore because the bare bones is sold out and it probably won't be back in stock for like six months. But yeah, that's a miss right there. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Mech Tech Keyboards. Who? That's really interesting. I mean, that keyboard has a rough first impression. So I could get that. Hey, IQnix is here. Mukbang. They're eating breakfast. You guys want to eat with me? I actually just finished my burger. I was joking that like the poor IQnix employee that has to watch Hippio eat a burger for 30 minutes. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. The burger was fantastic. I'm not going to lie. It was great. It was awesome. That it made my my evening so much better. <clears throat> no, I think that's the real Iconix. I think so. I could check. Where's the Go to channel. Yeah, that's the real like Unix. What did we miss? Well, you missed a decent amount. Um, We're actually almost fully done with the keyboard build. However, I am going to do a little bit of tinkering with it, which could be quite interesting. Wash your hands. But what if I don't? What if I just rub my hands all over this keyboard? You're not going to try this keyboard. This is my keyboard. Okay, fine.
All right. Here we go. So. I sung my my hit new song, How the Sky Looked, while I washed my hands. Um, that's why it took so long. What do you think of the Zone X75? I think it's pretty interesting so far. I like the idea of only having four screws. The included accessories, like the cable and the switch puller and the, the, the screwdriver. Good touch. So far, I don't know how it's going to sound. Um, Feel-wise, it's a bit interesting. Personally, I would remove the flex cuts from the PCB and the plate. But that's just my personal preference. I, I think the flex cuts might be a little bit unnecessary. It kind of... It, it's giving it a bit of a weirder flex than I would normally like. But, oh, also this knob is literally incredible. I don't know what switch you guys are using for the knob, but like the travel distance on it, that's actually like so far my favorite part. That's knocking it out of the, it's just freaking, I can't even, yeah. It, it's such a satisfying, like, oh. Oh, that's good. That, that, I need to know. What's up with this? That's so good. Such a satisfying... Boom, 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 boom. Also, if you guys have a question that you really want answered, um, you can feel free to use the super chat function. It's the dollar sign at the bottom of the chat. You can super chat as little as two bucks, and then I can see your question and answer it. If your question is like lewd or something, I probably won't answer it. But um, that's the best way to get a question answered, especially if I'm focusing on something. Or you can become a member, and that highlights your chat. Like, howdy hey, Rhea. I, I see your chat now. Wow. Anyways. <clears throat> I'm going to say $2 isn't rich. But fair enough. Is there not like a, uh, there's not a switch in this encoder that's giving it that travel distance? Because it feels like it, like, what is it using? It feels like a mouse switch. What's the secret? Because every other knob that I have, it's like a click. And this is like a bump. It's a bump instead of a click. Anyways, um, now with a little bit of magic, I'll just boop. See, guys, um, unfortunately, magic isn't real. Uh, so I have to put these on by myself. Now, I wish I had the iCunix keycaps to try on this because uh, they seem pretty interesting. But I don't know if those aren't ready yet or if they just didn't have them. But yeah, magic isn't real. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> I just got here, so I don't really have a question. But Libra Mini? Well, howdy, hey. Uh, great to see you here. Welcome to the stream. Um, The Libra Mini, I like the knob. However, I don't like 40%. Um, so the little, the little joystick knob thing, that's sick. I like that. Uh, 40%, not a fan. Preference. Um, I, I, Cunix, I want all of them. I'm addicted to keycaps. I, I want every keycap.
I I'm hopelessly addicted to keycaps. I cannot stop injecting keycaps. Turnip, howdy, hey. My favorite keycap profile is definitely cherry profile. However, I've kind of had XDA growing on me recently. Like, there's something kind of nice about like the flatter profile. Yeah. XDAs are amazing. Yeah. They're really nice. Hold on. I'm, I've got like 30 tabs open right now, which is like kind of cringe. I need to stop having 30 tabs open. Uh, if you're watching this video and you're enjoying it, by the way, or the stream, make sure you leave a like. Uh, leaving a like tells other people on the YouTube algorithm that, hey, this stream is pretty cool and other people need to see it too. So make sure you leave a like down below. That'll tell people that this stream is Poggers Champion. If this stream is not Poggers Champion, then dislike it. I dare you. Fine. Be that way. Make it controversial. Thank you, IQNix. You're a champion. Um, the keycaps I'm using in this build are from Kinetic Labs. I forget the name of them. Uh, yeah, I think they're like Galaxy or something. They're just a double shot PBT keycap. I figured this is the most similar to what most people will have. Because a lot of people will buy like a cheaper $30 to $60 uh, double shot PBT set off Amazon. So this will be representative. Uh, some people might have like a GMK set or a nicer one. Hippio, Kinetic Labs or Keeps for All? Um, I'm pretty biased towards Kinetic Labs simply because that's where I run my stuff through. Um, I'm also like a huge Key Bonbon simp. Like, he's the owner of Kinetic Labs. And he used to be a keyboard YouTuber. Mr. Bien, howdy, hey. Have you tried any of the Chinese Sea-Doo boards? I daily a V65 and V81 bare bones. Um, funny that you say that. I have one on the way from them that I'm going to be trying out soon. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Your PCMD. Howdy, hey. I have a Monsgeek M1 Gamma K Phoenix switches, but can find decent keycaps due to south-facing LEDs. Um, do you mean... Wait. What do you mean you can't find decent keycaps due to the soft facing LEDs? As in like keycaps for RGB or um keycaps for aesthetic purposes? Could you clarify? Because with north facing LEDs, you'll have interference on the middle row if you're running cherry profile. However, with south facing LEDs, that isn't a thing, but you will have worse RGB with any keycap. Uh, shoot. My desk is such a mess right now. <clears throat> I just got a Sense 75 and Oil King's thoughts. You snagged one of the last Sense 75 bare bones. Congratulations. If this Thox put a sticker on head, silly goose, you remembered. Damn, <laughs> Damn it, you remembered. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, fair enough. My forehead is too oily. It won't stick. I'm sorry, guys. Th 
This is gonna give me acne, I swear to God. I did take a shower earlier this week. Have you tried Dactyl Manuform? <laughs> I haven't. No, that sounds interesting though. Is that one of those like asymmetrical keyboards? Or ergo keyboards? Oh my god, I accidentally super glued my fingers together the other day and that was pretty painful. The skin peeling was like yowza. <clears throat> Anyways. Bruh. I can barely hear you. Turn up your volume on your on your headphones. Turn your volume up on on your headphones and your YouTube player. Ergonomic shaped split ortholinear. That sounds pretty interesting. I'm gonna be honest. With I've tried orthos before, and they kind of hurt my soul. Like I understand that they're pretty good, but I've tried them multiple times, and it's just it 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 hasn't worked for me. I I see the appeal though. Like I see why people like them. I think. For me, it's a little bit rough because I use so many different keyboards that really, really like alternative keyboard layouts trip me up more because then I'd have to go back to using a normal keyboard layout. Um, but I feel like for the average person, if you're like getting used to one keyboard layout and that's the layout that you use, then there's much less barrier to that. So I could see the appeal. Where's Nola? Oh, you missed it. Um, she For the first hour of the stream, she would not leave me alone. I was literally... Um, this tool right here, she decided she loves being scratched with it. So you'll be able to go back in the stream uh, and watch back. I was scratching her with this for quite a while, and she loved it. She was purring. She would not leave me alone. Um, now I think she's finally gone and taken a nap in another room, which is great because <laughs> she was being quite annoying. Fuzzy9, howdy, hey, thank you for the five. You take care. Have a good night. If you're staying up that late in Europe time, dear God. <clears throat> hey, those Cadeli tracks are pretty fire. Thank you. I appreciate it. If you want to listen to those Cadeli tracks, um, you can type exclamation point music. Okay, we've just got... Oh, I forgot the layout of these guys, though. Where's the... Let me pull up the webpage. Page up, page down, home, end. I don't know if my keycap set supports that, but I'll try my best. I got a row two page up. Mm. Why would it include a row four? Page down, but not a row four page up. That just doesn't make sense, right? I think they accidentally... They did. What? Okay, well, I'm going to do something else then. Howdy, hey, Kit. I purchased my first board, the Zoom 75, and I want to try a split space bar. Ooh, I actually don't remember if this... Does the Zoom 75 PCB support a split space bar? I don't fully remember that. Let's see.
Zoom 75. What was the first custom keyboard you made? It was a Drevo Gamer uh, 75 or whatever. And then my next was like an Idobel ID80. I still have it. I don't have the Drevo. I'm trying to see. As far as the split space bar on the Zoom 75 question goes, I can't. I think you can do it. It looks like you can do it. Um, you basically just need to, to, to program it in VIA. Um, and it's VIA compatible. So it'll be really easy to set up. If you need any help, though, you can join uh, the Discord. What were your thoughts on it? On the Drevo? Oh, it was so bad. I tried to spray lube it. That was the first keyboard that I ruined with spray lube. It started my villain arc, for sure. Hmm. Okay. So... I think these are both R4. What? Wait. Wait. Bruh. Sixth layer. Howdy. Hey, welcome back to the stream. Yeah, Nola is a real funny little dog. I swear. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the, this one here. Wait. Is that not going to work either? This keycap set that I have is much more limited than I expected. It's much, much more limited. Guys, I'm dumb. I, I wasn't looking at the right tray. Oh my god, I had three trays. I was looking at one tray and not the other tray. I, uh, ugh, I'm dumb. Uh-oh, somebody asked for a sound test. We're doomed. You guys know what that means? That means we added... Two minutes to the sound test timer. Mmm. Sucks. Home end. Okay. Sorry, I'm focused. I'm sheer focused right now, you guys. Boom. I did it. This keycap set confused me so much. It's fine, though. I'm used to being confused. That's like my thing, you guys. It's like my thing to get confused. Ugh. 
What do you mean? I don't take a lot of time putting on each keycap. What do you mean? I'm not like the sloth from Zootopia. Are you gaslighting me? I don't... I didn't think strangers on the internet would just go and, like, gaslight me or something. Why not use magic? You guys are so spoiled with my magic. I swear to God. Magic this, magic that. Well, sometimes I don't feel magical, guys. And that's okay. It's okay to not be magical. Also, the reason why it took me so long to put on those keycaps is because all of these keycaps look the same and they weren't actually properly organized. So I was trying to find the right keycap profile so that when this board is finished... It doesn't look weird over here because that's like my biggest pet peeve ever. So there you go. Ugh. How long have you been streaming? Three hours and 39 minutes. Holy. <laughs> I was like, ah, this will take two hours. This will take two hours. It's fine. It won't take that long. Mm, the mister is going off. My terrarium is misting. You can kind of see it at the top. It stopped. One eternity later. You guys like that? I actually did that pretty well. <clears throat> I wish I could be cool and awesome. Well, you can. For just $4.99 a month, you can type exclamation point join and become a member of Hippio's Watering Hole Gang, where you can be cool for and awesome for $4.99 a month, exclamation point join. Click the join button down below. Also, if you join and you link your Discord, then you can join the members only channel on Discord, which is really cool. <laughs> he actually did it! <laughs> yes, you are cool! You are awesome! Sakil. Howdy, hey, welcome to the watering hole, gang. You are cool and awesome. Congratulations. You did it. Everybody, let's let's give it up for Sakil. Let's give it up. They are cool and awesome. All right. W. That's a W right there. That's a dub. Okay. Um. Here's what we have to do now. I have to tease you guys a bit more. Um. Because we're not like. We're not like done. Or anything. Yeah, gamers, that's twenty thousand dollars in marketing degree. Coming at you live. Sorry, I'm getting my white balance dialed in. I'm taking some B-roll now. They see B-rolling. They hating. I want to take a couple shots without desk mat. And a couple shots with desk mat. I 
I feel like it's good to have a healthy mix. I'm going to take a photo now. I'm going to take another video now. And then in a moment, I'm going to like tell you my thoughts on the keyboard. So just like, just like vibe out, you guys. Here, let me play you the new hit song by Kadeli, um, How the Sky Looked. Let me play that for you real fast. Can you tell me how the sky looks? On the day that you broke my heart, I love in many seconds I took. Is he gone? Did we get him? Is he gone? I think we got him. What do you see? What do you see lately? How do I be anything else? Maybe all that I've tried feels like that I've let you down so hard. Your recourse is the sky. I know the reasons that you lie. So hard. Your recourse is the sky. Day that you broke my heart, I love in many seconds I took. Yeah, it's just it's an okay song, I guess. Uh, if you want to listen to that again, you can type exclamation point music. I made that song. That's not just some meme. Now back to jazz. You know, to be perfectly honest with you guys, I didn't plan a music video for that song or anything. I might do a music video. I don't know. I don't think people would care enough. amount of b-roll shots let me get like one more top down i like i'm my worst critic but also i have a lot of critics so <laughs> i don't know my metric is spotify didn't put it on so i don't care
Void Boy, I really appreciate it. I don't have the stems to give out for remixing at this time. Um, maybe in the future. Um, I think, like, I guess send me your music. If it vibes, we can work on something. If not, don't get offended. I'm very, very picky. How many cameras do you use and what are they? I have a Sony a7 III, a Sony a7 IV that you're looking through. Just two. Remember when you got food poisoning on a beach? Bro, only like 20,000 people have watched that video. You're a true champ. That's still one of my favorite videos to this day. Just because of like how real it is. It's just a very real video. I made that video in like such a transitional period of my life. Um, yeah, it, that was, that's a good video. I like that video. Thank you for reminding me of that video. Very cool. Okay. So, do you do rock climbing, Hippio? Not as much right now. I There was like a five-year period of my life where rock climbing was my whole entire life. I haven't climbed in like two months because of injuries and sickness. Um, I'd really like to get back into it. It's just, it's a lot. I'm a very tendonitis-prone person, so it like hurts me physically. Which kind of sucks. I don't want it to hurt me physically. Um, IQNix, are you still here? How do I switch this off of wired mode? Or wireless mode? IQNix, if you are listening, I need the hotkey. Bottom. Um. Aha! Thank you. Is there a, um... Is there a thing for this? Or do you, like, is there going to be a button for this on the final version? Oh, wait. I forgot to put it on. <laughs> I think it's this, right? <laughs> yeah, I think I... I think it's this. Oops. That's awkward, you guys. Remember when you did the silicone dampening video? That's also a classic. That's one of my most popular, though. Okay. I like when IQNIC sponsors streams because they actually watch... Not a lot of brands watch the stream when I'm doing them, and it's kind of sad. Because it's like, it's kind of fun to interact while it's going on, you know? What's this? There we go. Yeah, so this is the IQNIX Super Zone X75. Zonk, zonks. I, all the people in the chat like, iTunix, I love you. You're my favorite keyboard brand. Can I have free keyboard? <laughs> Wait. Oh, there it went. Oh, iQnix. Bro. Anyways, free keyboard, please. <laughs> Bro, IQNix V Keychron would be like 
Can we get the CEO of IQNix and Keychron to, like, fight? Like, Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg style? I know that's unrealistic, but, like, just, like, imagine that for a second. Like, a cage match. You know? Like, YouTuber boxing, but, like... Meow! Nola's here. Nola, hop up. Uh-oh. Hey! She just attacked my french fry. So, um, I have to go put this in the sink real fast. I'll be right back. I swear to God, my neighbor just looked at me through my window and <sighs> I'm never recovering from this. I, I'm going to have to explain to them like next time I'm like doing garbage. Oh yeah, <laughs> I had stickers on my head. Uh, I'm so, I'm so funny and <laughs> quirky. Um, <sighs> um, Lord Mossy. Only my most recent song is copyright free on YouTube. All the others will unfortunately get you copyright claim just because of how I release them. Uh, so. My newest song, How the Sky Looked, you could use it. You wouldn't get copyright claimed. All the other ones would copyright claim you, so, yeah. Okay, I'm just going to have to take these off now. I, uh, I'm never going to recover from that. What do you mean there's a cat? There's a cat in my room? What the? There's been a cat in my room this whole time? Wait, did I just, like, accidentally? Oh, okay. No, we're good. Hold on. My, my computer is setting up the keyboard. My keyboard is set up and ready to go. Uh, my audio knob works. Why did you have a sticker on your head? I joined late. I said if this keyboard thawks, I'll put a sticker on my forehead. Um, and it thawked, so I had to put a sticker on my forehead. Does this support VIA? This is a question I need answered by... Doesn't instantly recognize it. Will it support VIA? Okay, it will support VIA, but it doesn't currently. It probably has QMK support then, but... I saw that it has LEDs. How might one turn those on?
Okay, so I need to use IQNix firmware then? Hi, Nola. You want more scratches? Um, do you have the hotkeys for the art, uh, for the LEDs? IQNix? Because I do not have anywhere that has hotkeys visible. Yes, meow. Yes, so who's your kitty? Who's your widow kitty catch? Who's your widow kitty widow kitty? Uh, FN up and down changes volume. Okay, well, I figured out how to skip the song. How old is Nola? She's a year this month. She's a little year old kitty cat. She is one of the cats of all time. Yes, you like that. Yes, you do. You like getting scratched with the kitty cat for. Oh, yes, you like it as bad with a kick up on her. I love how, like, I'm sitting here, like, listening to jazz, petting Nola with the keycap puller. IQNix is probably, like, frantically running through the offices, like, What's the hotkey? He needs to know the hotkey! I'm just sitting here vibing. Just scratch on little kitty cat with the key cap holder. What's the hot key? Oh, ho, 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 yes. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. What about this end? Ooh, do you like that more? Ooh. Oh, she likes that more. She likes the switch puller and more. Is it because it's sharper? Oh, don't! <laughs> Do not jab your eye out, please. Please don't jab your eye out. Okay. I'm... Cooper Murphy, howdy, hey. Thank you for the 10. Australian. Okay. Okay. You're ridiculous. Oh, you're too much. What are your thoughts on the Sense 75? I uploaded a whole video on that. You should check it out. So, by the way, guys, I'm building the uh, IQNix Super Z... You can check it out by typing exclamation point build the Super Zone X75. No. Tap on it. Tap on it. She, did, she doesn't want to tap on it. No, she's telling me that I need to put. You want more of this? Is that what you want? <laughs> Guys, I think she's sending a message. She's so happy now. Oh my god. Um, IQNix, if you are still here. I need the hotkey to change the RGB modes, if that exists. Oh, it's just scratchy, scratchy, scratchy. I have my uh, sound, what's it called, on my, like, crisp. So no spoilers for the keyboard, you know? Um, worlded, I disagree. I like RGB with a lot of different keycap combinations. Hmm.
Um. Oh, it's not plugged in. I'm dumb. I forgot I unplugged it so Nola wouldn't like accidentally cancel my stream. Is it? Is it on? Uh, FN shift enter isn't. FN right shift and FN enter. Let me see if my, no, my enter's working. Maybe my, no? Are we sure? FNZ? Ah! Look at that! Now, one really special thing about this keyboard that's not the most special, but check this out. Epic Gamer RGB. Now, these are actually decently bright RGB. Like, I'm pretty impressed. I've got transparent switches in here, but the keycaps aren't transparent at all. And you can still see these at full studio room brightness. And Nola. Thanks, Nola. You're really, really in the way there. Thank you. So good. Don't bite my cable. No! I love you. Please stop. Thank you. Okay. So FNZ worked, so that's great. Is the Spotify card thing useful at the PC? Sometimes? Um, It's nice sometimes. It also doesn't work sometimes, so I have it unplugged right now. FN Home changes patterns. Ah, uh, that doesn't work. FN Enter changes patterns. Oh, those are fun. What if I want like a single color? Ah, that's nice. That's pretty nice, actually. Do you guys like that? The pink? That's also really nice. Wow, there's a lot of modes. Now, if you are an epic RGB gamer, there are a lot of different modes. And if you think RGB is dumb, there's also a lot of modes that are like different lighting colors and weird responsive lighting. Your typical RGB gamer stuff that you'd see on any gamer keyboard. But hey, it's on this and that's pretty nice. I wish I knew all the hotkeys though. Um, that's just a consequence of a prototype board is the hotkeys aren't fully known or programmed yet. But the final version should have VIA support, it, which is awesome. I highly recommend it. Okay. It seems like a couple people want a sound test, which is like kind of cringe, honestly. Like I'm not really here to do a sound test. Like I'm kind of here to build a keyboard. Um, so, I don't really know why you'd want that, but hold on. Let me turn my noise suppression off. Now you can hear my fan. And now you might accidentally get deafened, so. Okay.
Wow, that sounds really good, you guys. That's really, that's really good. <laughs> I got you. Oh man, okay, 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 okay. Okay. It's really marbly. Wow. Wow. That's... It's really unique. I was expecting, like, kind of your average, I don't know, like, Mons Geek style. But I'm pretty impressed, honestly. This is just with the FR4 plate. Like, there's really heavy typing. I, I don't type that heavy normally. Like, That's my normal typing weight. This is heavy. Ooh. Wow. Are the switches lubed? These are factory switches. Factory switches, $60 keycaps. Um, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, if you guys want to check out this keyboard, type exclamation point build. Uh, there's the link for it. Like, I kind of want to do some tweaks. What time is it? 740? Hmm. Let me do, uh, let me do some, something, something. Hold on. Um, gasket wise, the gasket performance on this thing is actually better than I expected. You can see a little bit of bounce as I type. You see that little bit of bounce? Try it without foam. There's not really much foam in here at all. Like this isn't your typical like, this is, that's why it's so surprising to me. I was expecting to need to mod this. Like, I'm kind of shocked. Oh God, she hears the wow stick. She heard the wow stick and she came running. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, did you want more WoW stick? Here, I tell you what. How about, what do I scratch you with? Oh, she got so excited, she saw the massage gun. Loves headbutting the massage gun. Oh, she's so happy. Look at this happy little kitty. Come here. Come here. There you go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 
Get your little butt out the camera. That's gross. There you go. Oh, yes. <laughs> Nola Spa sponsored by iQnix. <laughs> Yeah, so if you guys want to see the NOLA that I'm building, you can type exclamation point build. <laughs> oh, she's so happy. Oh, yes. It's 7.49 p.m. Oh. Dude, you... You don't need to headbutt it at full force. Like, you don't have to headbutt it. I'm not making you headbutt it. You're just that ex- Oh, here you want- There you go. <laughs> I hope this gives you guys dopamine. Please leave a like for dopamine. I think iQnix is secretly mad that you're petting Nola instead of reviewing their keyboard. Listen, the person working at iQnix is probably getting just as much dopamine from this as any of us. And look, the keyboard's right here. You can check it out by typing exclamation point build. Nola's helping. You have three cats in your office? That's amazing. Okay, Nola, I'm done. I'm done, baby. Mwah. You gotta clear out. You gotta clear out, sport. Hopefully that isn't too loud. I don't feel like changing back and forth um, on the modes. So yeah, uh, for the person that said remove the foam, these two sheets of foam are the only like case foam. Like, I've got PE foam in there, but I really like PE foam, so I'm not going to remove that. Um, oops, my mic is all the way down here. Let me flip this back around. So sorry. Nola, we talked about this. When we're done, we're done. Okay, babe? Okay, babe? The switches are from Keep Front. They are... They're like the Hive switches. You can use code Hippio to save 5%, I guess. I, I honestly forget. They've been in my closet for six months, so. All right, hon. Excuse me. Excuse me. I already gave you scratches for so long. Look at this little bingus. She knocked my car thing off. You little, little bongus, be, 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 bongus, be, 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 bongus. She's a Cornish Rex. Be, 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 bongus. Okay. Are there any mods I want to do this thing? I think the only thing I want to try... I'm going to try two things, real quick. Now, I have two courses of action I want to take real fast with this thing. Not you, Nola. Not you. What did you just bring me? No, that's the screw. I need that. Ugh. Now, I have two courses of action I need to take with this thing. The first is I'm going to unscrew the side gasket holder things. I want to unscrew the side gasket holder things to see if it improves the gasket performance at all. And then I want to tape mod. Which could potentially improve the sound. I don't know if it can be improved much because it's already pretty good, but I'm going to test it. Nola, please. Please. Let me be free. 
You're not cute anymore. You're not cute anymore! No. No. Stop! You're gonna short the PCB. Yeah, so can I get a new PCB? Nola shorted it. Shoot, I don't know what happened to my painter's tape. Hold on. You little, little bongus be. That's my hit new song, uh, Baby Bongus. Just kidding, that's a Little Joel song. I love Little Joel. Little Joel is based and Little Joel pilled. Okay. <clears throat> Please. Now, if you're somehow new to the Hippiotech channel, uh, howdy hey, by the way, I like doing the tape mod, which is where you put tape on the back of your PCB. Now, I have to be a little bit careful here, as there's, like, wires and cables and things that I probably shouldn't be interfering with, but I'm going to do it anyways, because I already have the final build done, so, you know, if I break anything, haha, <laughs> oopsie. Um, do the tape mod at your own risk. The tape mod, when I first tried it, actually, it was on iQnix boards. So I feel like I definitely need to come full circle here by doing the tape mod on this board. Now, generally, the tape mod will make your keyboard sound a little bit poppier, maybe slightly deeper. However, this board already sounded pretty poppy and marbly, so I'm not, I'm genuinely not sure that it will do anything to it. But maybe it'll sound poppier. And for this mod, I'm just going to apply two layers of painter's tape. Nothing too crazy. I don't want to get unhinged. Also, generally, especially when working with keyboards with batteries like this, I would recommend you use electrical tape and not painter's tape. However, painter's tape is what I have here. So that's what I'm gonna use because I'm lazy, but do this at your own risk. You are unhinged, thank you, I am. After four hours or four and a half hours of Nola harassing me while building a keyboard. I think anybody would get a little bit unhinged. Um, yeah. You're still live? Yes, I am. Nola, you're making the camera focus on you. That's like really rude of you. Can you not? Okay. Little bit of tape mod. I've noticed that generally the tape mod makes cheap keyboards sound better and nice keyboards sound worse. I agree with the first part, but not the second part. I don't really know. Like, it kind of acts like a low pass filter, which so I kind of see what you mean, but like, I don't really agree. I think sometimes it, I feel it's just unnecessary, but I don't really feel like it makes it worse. But I guess it's preference. Now, let me get a B-roll shot of the tape.
Yeah, thank you, Nola. No, please. I need that. Please. Please. Home. Thank you. Gotta cry out my button. I forgot there was a button on this board. <laughs> there we go. The button has been saved. Now, with that little mod tweak done, it's time to see what we think of the... Oh, see, I instinctively flipped it over to put the screws in the back, but I didn't need to put the screws in the back. The screws go in the top. But it's time to see what we think of the final board. No. Nola, have some manners, please. Just because somebody has a wow stick does not mean that you can bash into it without consent. Nola, learn some manners, dude. Okay. Home. Um. Stop, 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 stop. We're not doing that today. No. -uh. Now, what do I think of this final keyboard? Well, Overall, I'd say for the price, it definitely does hit a premium spot. Like, something like the Monsgeek M1 that's $135 cheaper is going to be a keyboard. It's going to be a 75% keyboard. It's going to be metal. But it won't be as good immediately out of the box as something like this. You might have to put in a little bit of work modding. I found with this keyboard, like, honestly, the modding didn't seem that worth it to me. Like, it was already very good stock, and it has that really nice premium marbly aluminum case sound rather than the cheap, pingy aluminum case sound. And that's kind of the difference that you're getting here. So, if you have the budget to spare and you're comfortable waiting on a group buy, then this might not be a bad option, and you can check it out with the link down below. I don't know if code Hippio saves you 5% on this one or not. Um, but yeah, I'd say overall, this is a pretty decent keyboard. Like, I, I really like how it sounds. The feel is pretty decent. Um, I realize the screwdriver, but don't worry. And I'll be leaving you with a sound test of the final Bing bong. Oh, I have to leave my fan on because I left it on for the other sound test. Is my fan too loud? Hopefully not. Oh, oops, it's in the wrong mode.
I would say after modding, like you get a little bit more of that marbly poppy sound. So if that's the type of thing you're going for, then you could definitely do it. It takes two minutes and it's super easy to mod, which is a great perk of this keyboard. Um, as far as the actual feeling goes, taking off the side aluminum gasket blockers did just about nothing. Um, the gasket performance here is fine, but it, it's not like knock you out of the park. What I would like to see instead from iQnix, instead of the pour on, is an option for gasket socks. I think gasket socks would be a great, great idea. Um, and potentially possible with the current way that they've done the gaskets on the plate. So I think that's my biggest recommendation would be gasket socks over pour on. Um, and other than that, honestly, like this thing is really nice. It's you get what you pay for. You pay 230 bucks. You get a good keyboard. It's not like the GMK pro or something like that where you're paying 250 bucks and getting a keyboard. <laughs> not that the GMK pro is like bad, but it, you know what I mean? Um, I need to film an intro for my, my video if I do a video. So let me do that. <clears throat> okay. Intro. All right. Um, okay, iQnix video intro, editor's note. Don't show my face in the intro. Only show the keyboard and the Hippio logo. Face and intro equals cringe, everyone clicks away. Okay. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're looking at this keyboard and the price tag, and you're thinking, there's no way this keyboard could be good. No, that's that's not that no, that's not that good. Hold on, we need to reroll, reroll, reroll. What's the what, what? What's my hook? What's my hook? What's my hook? What's my hook? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, I'm thinking of a hook. I'm processing. I'm processing. I'm processing. Beep, boop, beep, boop. This is how I make a, a mental script rather than actually writing a script. I'm thinking of a hook for the video. I'm thinking of a hook for the video. Okay. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Editor, the new idea starts... Uh, now wait i lied i need to reference a past video i'm gonna be even lazier so let me go to don't uh, need to mod I tried the Zoom 75, and you should too. Why? And you should too. Oh, you can well, hear what I'm hey. watching. I'm Hippio Tech, and I tried over 40 keyboards last year. And let's just say in my quest to find the best budget keyboards, this one might be it. Now, budget is a flexible term. We'll talk about that later. In this video, I'll be trying this. Wait, that was what I went with for the intro? Huh. Hmm.
What if, um, what if luxury keyboards could be budget? Eh? 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 That's not bad. That's not bad. I see a couple ands. But like 230 is budget for a luxury keyboard, right? Hmm. Okay, fair, valid. Mm. Mm. Hmm. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Okay. Um, IQNix video intro uh, idea. I'm going to do two different intros, and we're going to see what happens. Yeah. We're going to do two different intros and see what happens. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, I want a custom keyboard. All right. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, I just want a custom keyboard, but they're all so expensive, and I don't even know where to start. Well, howdy hey, I'm Hippio Tech, and what if I told you that luxury keyboards just got budget? That's not that bad. Luxury keyboards just got budget. Yeah, it's not that bad. Well, kind of, kind of just got budget. In this video, I'm at like the wrong part of break fast. Fumi hero, um, I see your chat. However, I'm not gonna listen to you because I have this keyboard in my hands and you don't. Okay, um, for the second part of the intro, in this video, I'm gonna be looking, in this video, I'm gonna be looking at a keyboard that literally broke my expectations. You're being paid, Keck? I am being paid, Keck. However, I have no obligation to this brand to say anything nice. Um, I mean, you can believe me or not believe me, but here's what happens when I get a keyboard I decide after I get the keyboard if I want to do the sponsorship. Oh, my camera just died. Yeah. That, like, I, I don't have obligations to these brands. I have broken ties with brands because the keyboard that they sent me was bad. I only accept sponsorships if I think I can either A, make a really interesting video on that keyboard while critiquing it, or B, it's good enough for me to endorse. Um... I mean, you can choose to be an idiot about it. That's fine. Um, you can choose to be skeptical, which is not being an idiot. I think you should always be skeptical of anyone that's paid about anything um, because they might not have clear ethics. Uh, but yeah, no, I, that like, I, let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. I got offered 15,000 US dollars from a brand to do a 15 minute video on their product. 15,000 US dollars. That's a lot of money. That's like more money than some people will make in a whole entire year. You know what they wanted though? They wanted me to only say positive things about their brand. I denied it. I said, I'll see you later. I said, send me over a contract that I could say whatever I want. I'll do it. Until then, no. I turned down the 15 grand. So you could choose to think whatever you want to think. That's fine. Um, But... I think it's a little bit dismissive and a little bit silly. Hi. Oh, you brought me a sock because you want to play? Oh, you're such a sweetheart. My cat brought me a sock because she wants to play. So I need to finish my intro. Um, anyways. Uh, sorry about that, editor. In this video, I'm gonna be building a keyboard that literally broke my expectations. 
the iQnix Super Zone X75. Now, I know that name is a mouthful, but let me just tell you that this build is also gonna be a mouthful. It's packing super premium features and a really premium sound for only a semi-premium price. Okay, it's a little bit expensive. However, it's a really bit of good. Don't believe me? Just listen to this. Now, that sounded absolutely incredible, but guess what? Guess what? That was entirely stock. So, let's talk about that. Oh, also, did I mention that this keyboard has... Oh, dang it. Ah, yeah, darn it. Ah, I was so close. I was so close. Um, so close. Oh yeah, and you're probably what's going, oh yeah, you're probably wondering what's going on with those weird little metal sticks. Well, that's the incredibly unique gasket mounting system that this board uses. We'll talk about that later as well. Okay, um, random flavor voiceover for you, editor. Now, this video has been, er, now, it's random screaming outside my door. Uh, window now this stream now the stream that i did on this keyboard was sponsored however the video that you're watching right now was not i can say literally ah oh, shoot i burned it i burned it i burned it ah talk about the knob oh my god oh yeah did i mention this keyboard has the best knob I've ever felt. Don't take that out of context. There we go. We did it. We did it. I think that's it. Um. Yeah, any other flavor for the voiceover? Nah, I'll do voiceover later. I think that's it. I think that's it, guys. Pack it up. Pack it up. Uh, it's time for my bedtime. For those of you that have watched the stream all day long, um, that's really impressive of you. Thank you so much for that. Um, please go check out this board by iQnix. Type exclamation point build if you want to check it out. If not, I don't care. Go check out another keyboard. Shoot. Um, go check out the giveaway I'm running. Exclamation point giveaway. Go check out my music. Exclamation point song. Or exclamation point music. You're listening to it right now. Have a good night. You broke my heart, however many seconds I took. Just tell you that we 